outside Mia's home, where you had decided to return the bones of Tatiana Moonscabber to the devil himself. He appeared out of a portal of blood, and a deal was struck. You would join him for dinner the following night and discuss how you might go about defeating this unblinking power that seeks to usurp his throne from him and has a bit of a chokehold over two of your party members. This is made slightly more doable by the fact that you, by defeating Nana Dark Cradle, discovered one of the uh, instruments of massacre, the Hidden Fang. Or, yeah, the Hidden Fang. And this prevents you from being scried on, so long as you are within 15 feet of the person who has it. So we are picking things up just as Strahd's boots disappear up through the portal. It <laughs> closes with this sickening wet sound as the last few drops of blood fall onto your boots. What do you all want to do? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah me and oh. then next just go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slowly uh, walk over on Hooper's back. Just. Well, with a big scowl on your face. That <laughs> went better than expected. I. I, I guess I'm inclined to agree with you. Next. Um... Oh, uh, the hug might have been a little much, but. <laughs> Uh, I it don't. Right in the it was. It was more so trying to. I guess it was a, a manipulation tactic. I, I don't know. I. Oh, mine was sincere. Was well, just... mine. I, I guess mine was too. It was just more so like to prove that we're not. We need all the help. I don't. We're not heartless. We'll see. A clever ploy. Make him believe we're his friends. Stab him in the back when we get him in dinner, yes? No, no. No, 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 no. Not right now. That will be one of the conditions for working together. When this is all over, he's leaving this mortal coil. That, that unfortunately, is not up for debate. What, what we need to figure out now is just what exactly it is we're going to be planning with him. I, we hear rumors about him all the time, but nothing concrete. We don't have, we don't know what his resources are. Best yeah. guess, if you would probably uh, want to do, oh, go ahead, good deal, please. If, <laughs> want, if we want to appear friendly, I think we should get good clothes. Where does one get good clothes in Marvel? episode, shop. Shopping episode. Shopping episode. <laughs> New um, outfits. We hmm. could... See, that's the thing. We're here in Abbey Root. They may have some clothes here. I don't want to just waste a travel with the tower to just get clothes. Agreed. It would be, uh... Really, two tower uses. Mm -hmm. We would need to go to wherever really the only other place we got is Riverports. I mean there's really no other town in here. I guess we want to go grave robbing. But I don't know if uh, I don't know I if we're we're steal around here. The suits off of some dead bodies. <laughs> I think we're done stealing from corpses. I think we the list shouldn't have been made in the first place and away it went. No yes, more the of only that. thing the only thing we will do is make new ones. Uh, um, yes, well. of the already <laughs> dead people. <laughs> I'm gonna just look well, at Cass for can... a second and then look back at everybody. So, like, well, I guess if we want to save our travel time, we could visit the Moonscabbard Manor back in Barrowvale, town proper. Use a tower? I mean, we're there? already. We're already going to need to go to the town anyway to get to Strahd's castle. Mm -hmm. We've we been to Strahd's castle, though. We can just teleport right there. No? 
but the dinner's tomorrow. I just meant for the clothes. The clothes. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to. I'm done. I'm done <laughs> with these. Because if you, if you, um, just so yeah. you guys have a rough idea, yeah. If you were to teleport with your tower to Barrow Vale, the town of Barrow Vale, then I would say like to okay. get from Barrow Vale oh, to Castle Ravenloft would be like a day's travel on the road. I so don't... you could get there, look through the mansion, and and have a little bit of time there, and then head up to the tower or, or the castle, or you just go right there. It's up to you. You can I mean... all do what you want to do. I don't feel in need to look fancy for the devil, so I will go as I am. I agree with Casimir. The only fine clothing he will see me in is the armor in which he will also see him take his last breath in the reflection. And it is well with all those things that he says. <laughs> what I mean, Nick, you're from here. Is there a... A place to get clothes? I mean, probably before it was all burned. Yeah, the hamlet of Abbey Root is not going to have, like, a tailor. Yeah. Well, I am. We better not ruin my jacket, then. We can just <laughs> all go in, like, the nun's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> big hoods below your head, brain. Domine. Domine. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, well. Uh, oh boy. So, so Tension. Plan, knife. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I would love to stretch my legs. It's been a while since I've walked a lot. We could go to Barrowville and then head on up to the castle. A reminder of something I also just forgot to mention in the recap. Uh, you did learn who Mia's father is. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Nick. Yeah. Nick learned. Nick's only Nick Nick's. learned. Oh, there's only Nick. Oh, that's right. Only hey, Nick knows. Yeah. You have something you want to say to me? <laughs> no. Hey. No? Uh, nothing? No. Uh, nothing no. at all? Okay. Nothing, nothing yet. Uh, but okay. I do want to go to I do want to go to Riverport because I do want to talk to your mom and we need to bury Kari with Kings. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. So that's where well, my push would go. Okay, so let's rewind that back for a second and try to dive back into that in character. Do you mention specifically you want to talk with my mom? <laughs> uh, yes, I do. And she just got like talk with my. Mother? Why? I, uh, I learned some things in, uh, Melita's journal when I was going through it, uh, that I just want to ask her some questions about from before you were born. Maybe she knows. Okay. Can I insight that? Sure. Can, can, can I? Go ahead and, uh, make a deception <laughs> check and an insight check. Just gonna roll right now. I'm gonna deceptificate. Well, Deceptify. I got a fourteen. I got a nineteen. Ooh. Yeah, you you know Ooh. I'm you you know I'm holding something back. Well, I uh, see you're not being fully forthcoming, but considering the time we've had together in the past seventy-two hours, I don't blame you. Um, this is my mother we're talking about, so I'm going to trust you. Thank Please you. don't get her hurt. No, no, no. And you will know what I after. Either mm -hmm. she'll... Never mind. Yeah, yeah. You'll find out. I'll tell you after I talk to her. You all, after. <laughs> she looks even more <laughs> concerned. <laughs> She's yeah. kind of like... Yeah, looks back just stumbling right now like, fuck, how do I get out of this? Uh, Kind of like pats her arm. You're fine. Um... We should all take a breather. Uh, I I do want to talk to you, but let's let's all take a breath. That was looks back at the puddle of blood. <laughs> a lot. Um. I, I've been breathing this whole time. Oh, congratulations. I I don't. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almonds. Uh, want some popcorn? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. 
Kaz. Hi. Hello. Talk. Talk with me. Um, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. I am... I'm just tired. I, I don't sleep, but I agree with you. <laughs> it, um... It seems like the decisions that we've been making um, get us killed and then we want to go hug and eat with the man who kills us. I'm at the point where why? <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? What uh, What's the worst that we can do? Hmm? Maybe um, we do the thing that seems like it's the thing we most don't want to do. And who knows, maybe that'll work. I... I don't know anymore. Well, to clarify, I can only speak for myself. I'm not chomping at the bits for this. I... am very happy to have the opportunity to bleed him dry of resources. I... want to make sure that we get every last drop of use out of him. For him to rebuild the valley that he destroyed for over a thousand years. And then we can all have our way with him. But at this point, I think it's silly for us to just pick up a rock and throw it and go towards it. We we need help. I mean, the enemy of my enemy and all that would make sense. The enemy of the enemy is still my enemy. Exactly. Yes. I'm not suggesting we... Sort of firestorm, <laughs> I missed you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! <Die. laughs> uh, no, most likely he will want to plan... I mean, I would guess some sort of raid on the Crimson Temple. Actually, or I think it might be best to turn our attention to the army that the unlinking one is forming, which I have an inkling where that might be, mm. but when we were getting ready to decide between whether or not we were going to the castle or to get the staff, when I still had a tether to the Dawn Father, he gave me two visions, one of a setting sun and one of a rising sun. That sun was black, mm. and it imploded. And considering that they have the staff, I could be jumping here to conclusions, but a place that held a magic weapon seems like a good place to hold up camp. A place that held a magic weapon? Yeah, the black the staff of Blackfire. We have that one, don't we? Yeah, but she was yeah, saying, like, before time. she said yeah. before we made the choice to, between one or the other. Okay. It's a place to start. It's not concrete, but... Where? If I was holding an army, I would place them in a keep. Wouldn't you? A defensible place. So, uh, my guess would be Amberland's keep. The Amberland's but keep isn't that the way Firestorm just gets yes. on? The Amberland's keep is dustless, is clean, sterile, even. <laughs> or isn't that Ember, What's Emberfang's that? No, temple? The Devil's Field is where the Emberfang's power... temple is where Sir Firestorm came from. Oh, is that not the, the Emberlands? Okay. Keep... No, no, no. If you on the map, mm -hmm. Emberlands Keep is here. Okay. So, and you came from way back here. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's home. That's home uh, right there. Mia, you're talking about down here, right? Yeah. 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 The Devil's Field. <laughs> yeah, because we saw him in a field. Hmm. What you saw? You saw him. Like a vision. Of envision. Yeah. Also, <laughs> we do only have uh, five more vials of basilisk blood, so. I don't know if we want I'd to be rather economical. not have to fight more fucking snakes. Maybe fun. Strahd has a pet basilisk underneath his <laughs> castle. Maybe. Maybe. I that don't. Let us slaughter. Yeah. 
No, just, Thank you, just let it have some blood. <laughs> yes. Not, not just, yeah. kill the whole thing. Kind of like, too. Yeah, don't kill the whole thing. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to go to what um, Riverport, and we also need to go to Ravenloft. It will leave I us think. with three vials. Mm-hmm. And we need to go to the temple to cleanse the weapons. Okay, so two vials. And three. Probably one by one. How many we have left? Two left mm -hmm. after all that. After uses, we would have two vials left. Um, we probably will need one more to fight against the unblinking, unblinking one. One vial to go get more vials. <laughs> I mean, if we are planning on fighting with the devil to go fight the uh, the unblinking one, my best guess is we could just use his teleportation, possibly, save uh, us a trip. I don't think he will use it again when we end the fight. I wouldn't want to rely on him as a means of getting mm -hmm. in and getting out of places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Safe, very true. Maybe he can have his... Kind of looks over at Ludovic and smirks. Lieutenants, they go down to the cave and get us some more basilisk blood. Ooh. Oh, delegate, delegate. I well, Drag will have something to that. do now that he's no longer going to try and kill us with them. That's... It's like this genius. It's, it's... That's a very, yeah. We'll you just put that a part of the negotiations. There. Yeah. Do you think the cobalt <laughs> has good good clothes? <laughs> well, maybe for maybe for Amaru, size wise, <laughs> get him oh. a little suit. Right now, Amaru is bigger than a cobalt. Oh, this oh, you know, yeah. I was just so used to him in my peripheral vision. I haven't really stopped to look at him. He's like horse. He's like horse size, isn't he now? He's like a big. Yeah, he's pretty big. He's just his panting has gone from like a, like like a derpy little dog to <sighs> like he's he's pretty big. Because I just realized Mia hasn't size. really had any moments like with Amaru since he's like yeah. Blah, blah. So she's like, oh, I remember when you were baby. You are not baby anymore. Yeah. He, he looks at Ooh. Mia and then poosh, falls at his side and lays on his back for a belly rub. <laughs> I remember. I remember these. Okay, I do <laughs> Of course, she does it. <laughs> oh boy. Perhaps a yes. river port will have these clothes that you want, and then Nix can also do what she needs to do. Maybe we can get your cloak cleaned. You got the only white one, didn't you? Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it <gets. laughs> and then she just cast. She cast prejudicitation to clean him up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's one thing mm -hmm. off the list. Mm -hmm. so. Very high, I'm sure. <laughs> she stands up. So I guess we can go whenever. I'm not entirely sure if anybody thing else left to do here. Unless she looks at Nyx. Do you have any last goodbyes to make? No, I think we can head out. If anything, I can oh, send a baby. letter with Baxter. Are you baby? Is you small? You did that. Oh my goodness, are you? Are you small? Yeah, y'all want to head to uh, Riverport? Riverport time, here we come. Okay. Cool. Hey, do you guys want to, like, it's pretty late. Do you want to go there now or do you want to sleep and then go there in the morning? I want to go there now so we can bury yeah. her with the rising dawn. Ah. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. All right. <laughs> you, make your way, you make your way back to your tower. <laughs> As you step through, Crick and Drick, you can see you're kind of doing a head count. Oh, they all came back this time. Oh, that's a first. And then you guys head up, pour the uh, vial, taking you down to four. Oh. They still read my note, those cheeky little, little bastards. <laughs> You see, they like look at you and like blush. If they even can blush. <laughs> the, 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 the white is a little bit more morbidly. Just yeah. <laughs> There's that brief moment of claustrophobia as the dirt envelops the top of your tower. Everything goes pitch black. 
And a moment later, you emerge in the exact same field you have emerged in several times as you've traveled to and from the town of Riverport. You can hear through, like, as soon as you arrive, Crick and Drick kind of open a few windows up uh, throughout the tower, and you can hear the crashing of the, uh, the nearby river, the occasional howl of a wolf or a dog in the town of Riverport, but for the most part, it's, it's very quiet. By the river. Cut. <laughs> 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 Can you, it. can you tell we've been playing Baldur's Gate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't because we haven't played it. So yeah. Sorry, well... <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so I guess yeah. Uh, uh, so, Nix, you wanted to go talk with my mom? Let's let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> She's gonna hold out her hand like we're gonna hold hands on our way. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yep. All right. We're holding hands now. Okay. This is happening. Yeah. Step out of the tower. <laughs> and uh you kind of leave the woods, step onto the road that leads up to the front gates. As soon as you kind of come into the little bit of torchlight that comes off the walls, you hear the sound of bowstrings being loosened as they recognize who you are, and the doors creak open just enough for you to slip through. Very, very few people out this late at night, um, and those who are are mostly members of the Silver Moon Rangers, just kind of walking the walls, walking the town. The moon glistens atop the, the river. And you head to where your mom, We you know, we can say me yeah. and you where she was staying. Yeah, probably near the tavern. Sweet. Honestly, probably in the tavern. Yeah. Um, got set up with a room there. Um, as you step into the tavern, Ludovic, in your new form, you see sitting at a table the same uh, mm -hmm. folks that you tried to uh, <laughs> make your way to. They don't, sure. they don't recognize you. Take you two. Not, I'm going to go gamble. Yeah. Ooh, they they kind of the raise like... their glasses to yeah. you as you walk in. <laughs> um, but everything's closed up. But yeah, ask and head up to your mom's room. Who's all going? Is everybody going, or is it just Mia and Mix? I was just saying it was going to be, yeah, uh, me and Mia. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Take it away. Okay. Uh, so while we're walking up, I think I will explain that I wanted to talk to I found some notes about her, fa your father. Um, I found his name. Um but there was some interesting things that I found in this journal as well, saying that you were a gift from the Raven Queen. And I just, yeah. So you see why I wanted to get some clarification before I went to you first, but, and maybe she has more information. So, yeah. <laughs> She's speechless. She's just gonna like thousand yard stare, just like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a who now? I'm a what? <laughs> yeah. I'm a who? -who <laughs> uh, um... And I would tell you his, his he was his name was Father Donovich, which I think you would know would be the priest guy, wouldn't she? Because she was in Barrowvale. It's in Barrowvale for over a year. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. would recognize that name. I. You probably even like spoke. You interacted with him and spoke to him, and maybe gone to some sermons. Um, you know, but you would definitely know who that is. I met my father, and I didn't even know it. Wait, what? You yeah, met him? I did. I didn't know who he. I didn't know who he was. Oh, he's, oh, he's probably dead now. Well, hopefully not, but. I don't know. Strahd made a pretty nice tent out of the people who lived in that town, so. Very true. But let's, let's go get some more answers if we can. Mm-hmm. She looks mad. She looks angry. <laughs> Mia, angry. I'll, I'll squeeze your hand a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just so that you, like, 
Oh, my hand! Oh, oh. God damn it. <laughs> Shit, sorry. I have I to forgot. prepare for this ahead of time. <laughs> God, I'm so strong. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, um... Let's... Let's go. I guess okay. you get in there. Yeah. Give it a few knocks. You hear what sounds like maybe a crossbow being like locked, and then who, who's there? Hi, mom. The crossbow like drops. The door <laughs> throws open. She's like in her like nightgown. It's <laughs> it's pretty late, and she's got a little candle lit, and she just throws her arms around you. My oh. sweet Mia! Oh, my sweet Mia! And, uh, and kind of brings you into the room with and, and, and lets oh. you come in. Hi, well. hi, Nick! <laughs> can, 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 I, can I prepare you anything to eat? Are you hungry? What, no. how, how can I take care uh, of you, my sweet Mia? That, Mom, this is an inn. You can't you can't use their kitchen. No, relax. Sit down. <laughs> oh, that is force of habit. Yes. Mm. Um, where is the rest of your party? Uh, they're down and about. Uh, before you ask your question, Nix, um, your home is in disrepair. Uh, I assumed as much. <laughs> well, well, Sir Firestorm and I plan on rebuilding it, so don't worry. But, um, uh, we killed the hag. An Abbey Root. Oh. Oh, that's... That is good. At least there'll be more wine. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll need more wine after this. And she just kind of looks at Nyx expectantly, like, go ahead. <laughs> From down in the tavern. More wine, please! <laughs> <laughs> you just see a bunch of people from their rooms. Wait! <laughs> More wine, please! <laughs> uh, Nyx, yes. I, um, was she aware that uh, Melita is dead or no? Trying to remember when you dropped her off here. I don't think it, was it, I think it happened dead. while it they were before, leaving. It was before. It was we we left Miruna here to go to Ibaru to take care of finishing up Kaz's deal. Okay, so then she would know that. Well, she mm -hmm. probably know that Melita's dead. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'd be like, I don't know if you know, but Melita is dead, um, and I was close with her, so I was going through her journal um i came across some things about mia and your husband you see her face just she already has a pretty like pale complexion but and, and she's just staring at you just listening um it says that mia was a a gift from the raven queen i just wanted to know if any information on that? Like, what does that? What does that mean? Mia, your father and I, we tried for so long, but we could never conceive a child. Your father did not know who I was, nor the curse that our blood would pass on to you. And I loved him so much that I think I, I was going to say I made a mistake, but every time I look at you, I know that that's that can't be true. But we prayed to the Raven Queen every night for years, begging her to help us. And then one night our prayers were answered. 
me was brought to us and placed outside our door. All we saw when we opened was a small flock of ravens flying away. And then she spoke to me, the Raven Queen. And she told me that it was my family's blood that would damn this land, or it might be able to help save it. And I asked one thing of her. I could not endanger my sweet Donovich. And so I asked her to make him forget. He doesn't know that you exist. He doesn't know that I exist. And he went off to Borrowell to preach the word of Mother Night. May yeah, I? I know I should have told you, but this world, this realm, these lands, they take so much from you already. I thought it would be best if you did not know that I had taken something from you as well. And her head just falls low and some tears start to streak down her cheeks. Um, yeah, it's just gonna slowly sit up and you can, um, you can ask her whatever questions you want next and she's gonna exit and leave. She looks like she might go to follow you and then just kind of slumps in on herself and just starts to, as silently as possible, weep into her hands. Mia, where are you going? Just to, uh, just I'm, on. I'm going to uh, the temple here, the temples here in okay. the report, because yeah, she wants to a... give the boys some time to themselves away from my drama <laughs> is fucking up plaster of course he is well, well, uh, but not at the gambling state yet <laughs> yet mm -hmm. there yet i wish yeah. to collude i wish to collude very much with at least gazamia if gadil would like to join oh, oh, please, i'll I cut mean... to you three here in just a sec let me just wrap things up with nix and then do I'll, your uh, thing Nix, what would yeah. you have to do? Uh, I just want to comfort Maruna and just be like, she just, she just needs some time. She'll come around. Don't worry. Why don't you go ahead and give me a um, persuasion check? Okay, I'm decent at those. Are you though? 13. That's a decent roll. This is double digits. I got, I got a plus five. You kind of put your, your arm around her and, and try and comfort her, but she's can barely, like she's like doing that type of week where she like can't even like catch her breath, just sobbing, and she finally is able to like kind of wipe some of the tears away for a moment. And she looks up at you and says, I never wanted to hurt her. All I've ever done was try to protect her and everything that I have done. It's just has protected her. It's I protected her, her. I sent her into the arms of a deranged worshipper of the unblinking one. I sent her into the arms of the very people who killed my daughter. You also sent her into our arms as well. well Don't worry. She did that herself. She's always been stronger than me. He's very strong. And I will bring her back to you. Or die trying. I don't think it will come to that. 
Maybe. You know how stubborn she is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just keep her safe. I will. And then Do I'll you... do the, the Raven Queen symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Before I like throw up the sign, but like I swear, I swear you... on the queen, like it's mm, like oh, oh, it. oh got him. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you kind of stand up to go, she kind of grabs your hand. Do you know? Is he? Is he? Okay. I, I have. I don't know. I can ask some of the others, but I I don't. I can't tell you. Okay. Thank you. She walks you the door and gang gang throws it up. Gang gang. Gang gang. Gang gang. Gang gang. gang, gang. gang, gang. gang, gang. And I'll... Yeah. Okay. Let's jump over to King's... Or, jeez. Firestorm. I wish. I would love to. That's two wow. characters. In the <laughs> That's two. <laughs> Kaz, Kadil, and so Firestorm, where do you want to be? Yeah, what are we doing? Um, but I first, he hasn't changed his nickname yet. <laughs> unmute himself, and then we can. <laughs> okay. Um, God bless America. Yeah, no, For... all, probably, well, well, all that, what's happening over here. I will go to Casimir and be like, oh, would you like me to help me to prepare carries? No. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Of course, I think you would definitely be needed in that respect, Kadir. Do you have anything in mind or? I have, the only thing I have is a shovel. <laughs> it's, it's better than nothing. I, th <laughs> I think we should all be there for that. And I was actually just on my way to go and talk to Sir Firestorm. There's maybe some strategies and ideas uh, that you could possibly help with too. I just want us to come at this from all angles and, you know, leave no strategic stone unturned. If you want to come along, I do, but we are tired, Casimir. We should make the best first we, before we plan anything. I could, I'm, I'm just planning on resting. Wait, are you okay? Good deal. I just I'll put my hand on your shoulder. Are, are you okay? And you really say that anyone is okay here. <laughs> no. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, just dreaming the day that all this comes to an end. Same. And hopefully we will bring that. I'll turn that hand on the shoulder into like a armor on the shoulder, but still <laughs> Come with me. We can talk. We can strategize, and then we can sleep. I realized something like you are on top of Cooper, and I am top of Amaru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just side by side. <laughs> <laughs> just like cattle herders. Uh, well, like the camera yeah, started off just <laughs> yeah. like a mid-level body shot, and then it pans out, and then yeah, you see where <laughs> So we'll go to, if, if Kiddo wants to come, I, I was going to go to to not Kings, to Sir yeah. Firestorm. <laughs> I almost called you King cool. Kiddo, that's why. That's why. Yeah, I'll, I'll it. It's me. Cool. Uh, it, you find me outside of the, uh, outside of the castle um, with my great sword stuck uh, in front of like the city. Like it's like, it, and uh, I am sitting there uh, on like one of the first steps with an easel and painter supplies and I am uh, painting uh, this town with the sword directly in the front. Taking a picture. I, I, I walk up and 
I won't say anything for a little bit. I'll just watch. <laughs> Aaron, Does please, let's good? see what it looks like. Huh? Um, I would <laughs> love to see how... Can you pen like, somewhere? So I know about the things. <laughs> Say that again, Gideon. That I am an, an archaeologist, so I know about drawing and making maps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just like... is giving you unsolicited advice. Oh, the proportions oh. are off. See, yeah. see, Gideon, this is more freeform. You're, you're thinking too analytically right now. Just look at the image and then look past it. It's, it's art. It's beautiful. And it's right in front of you all the time. Just trying to encapsulate it and trying to encapsulate the most beautiful piece of artwork of all. And he just like kind of looks up and just like does this at his great sword. <laughs> this, uh, uh, Firestorm, will you give me a performance check? Real quick? I would love to. <laughs> Huzzah. Nat 20, baby. Come on. Solid seven. <laughs> it's free form. You said it. <laughs> uh, you all. I, I'm in a. I'm in a. Cra I'm in a crazed mood. I'm. I'm using my inspiration. Oh shit. Uh, yep. I no want to put this on a, wall. on a painting. <laughs> Not a refrigerator. On a wall. Don't be lower. Don't be lower. Thirteen. Oh. Okay. As you throw beer at it, kind of watch him paint for a few minutes. There's the way that he has the composition of it set up be it maybe by his own hand or just the dark magics of this land. The way that the gate has been painted, the gate is kind of hanging ajar, the way that the moon is reflecting off of some of the windows, and the way that the sword is set in order, it almost makes it look like the town is like the maw of some horrible beast swallowing the sword. But then the more he works at it, the more he kind of throws in some muted color what you can get here it doesn't quite look like that anymore it actually does look very beautiful but there's that lingering feeling of like uh, probably, yeah, that was almost bad. probably i will be doing like while well, he's not watching me like trying to pick some things like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. what's that over there let them go something's <laughs> so um as he's as as he's so um to the point of the real reason you're here and he kind of sets the brush down stands up you the enemy the enemy of my enemy is still my enemy oh indeed i don't think any of us have any intention of giving strahd the time of day let alone a hug no so this deal is this deal but, big, big but, the moment it's done, the moment that he is weak, yeah. we strike him down. Hard and fast. Yes. yes. But also... We must make sure, we must keep this enemy very, very close. And uh, we have to also know that he's doing the exact same thing that we are now. He's thinking of ways he can counter us. He's thinking of how he can betray us, how he can leave us in a, a situation well, once well, we've taken care of our mutual enemy. Well, see, that's where we leave it up to um, Mia and the white-haired one, Nyx. I'm just thinking, cut to like Castle Ravenloft where Strahd is like sitting on his bed with his feet up behind him. New BFF. Today I made six <laughs> new friends. <laughs> they gave me the bones mm -hmm. back and they yeah. gave me a hug for the first time in over yeah. a thousand years. I think I've done something. Dinner. Oh my, oh gosh. my god. I finally didn't want to kill my family. What's your name? Dips it in more blood and trips yeah. right <laughs> in. He dips it in that wound <laughs> of who he's drinking blood from. Ah, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I tell Casimir and Sir Firestorm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I said that I wanted to good look for the dinner, not, not because of some friendly intentions, like, I, I don't want to appear like in a, like a beast in front of a beast. Hmm. Mm. This is understandable. But I mean, you're a handsome boy. 
man. Man, you're a handsome man. He's you... a handsome... I'm sorry, Gideola, I don't mean this offensively. You are a boy, you are still a child. Yes, you have gone through some tribulation that, you know, not a normal child should, but you shouldn't forget that you are still just a kid. Remember to look at the beauty in these moments. Here, and I pull out uh, a painting I had done before while I was still in the Emberfang Temple. Um, I made this for you while I was um, there. I actually, I made one for all of you. Kazimir? Hmm. Uh, I, yeah, I, I take the paint. Thanks, but I don't really... Yeah. Fucking but, like it. But look, like but it. look, that's that's a, that's a little. <laughs> and okay, so so what you're looking at, deal? You're looking at a, uh, uh, it's like in the cave, like it's a cave, but on the front of it is like a drawing of uh, a, a murder. But he's got like a real goof smile on him. Like imagine like a, like a Disney, two D Disney movie, like huge grin on him. It's like look at him, look, he's so happy. Happy. Um, I would. Would have drawn you too, but I'm whole with hands. Horrible with them. Mm. <laughs> Edril, and here you're looking at a uh, picture of the moon with just a black night sky and stars, and uh, your sword is sticking out of the ground. Hmm. I'm really good at the ones with the weapons <laughs> in the ground. I'm really good at that. So there's the rendition of this. This, this breathtaking thing. And then for like first time in a long time, like a little Kaz will have a little smir smile smirk. Thank you, Mr. Firestone. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy this. Absolutely. It was, it was my pleasure. My pleasure. Had to do something to cure the insanity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Only kidding. <laughs> but the, yes, but. I think just in the light of recent events, one thing I want us all to remember is... Um, no matter how much it seems like he's helping us, he's uh, still the man that uh, slaughtered your entire people for Firestorm. He's still the man that slaughtered all my friends. I would uh, just like us to not forget that. Oh, I won't. Well, Ever. Not all of them. <laughs> Look at <Kasmi>. Gasmi. <laughs> A lot of. No, you. Yes, exactly. We're making it so you cannot. Slaughter. As far as I'm aware, I'm the last. As far as I'm aware, I am the last of my race, the last of my kind. It's as far Until as otherwise well. shown. None of you have ever. Which is also another point. A, a dragonborn, here in. Another Arabella. another point of mine is going into this castle. I do have some ulterior motives. I don't really care about the dinner. I mean, the food might be nice, but. Nope, don't care about dinner. Um, I would like to see if he has anything from back then, from the Imbafang mm. times, and also see if he might have people captive there. Hmm. Even though it was over 600 years ago, it could still be, it could be a statistical, a statistical wonder, but even a 1% chance is still a chance. And, uh... What is that deal? I also want to know how does he do for always coming back? Like the times we have killed him, he transformed into this thing and then disappeared. Mm. So I want to know how. Yeah, Landon, I can't remember if I. I feel like I've asked you would I would Casimir know like about vamps, uh, and I feel like we've talked about it but i don't remember what we landed on it i think you failed your rolls okay. on some of them what i know about now he heals i don't think so i didn't because think so he wasn't he was just <laughs> strawed when he arrived mm -hmm. uh i can't remember exactly how much you know casimir so why don't you go ahead and give me a arcana check Lovely. not 20 not 20 not 20. it's never it's a negative <laughs> one so <laughs> You're lucky I got a 13. Hey, not bad. 13, but I never heard. Hell yeah, lucky 13! <laughs> yeah, you don't... You don't know exactly how he does it. Okay, let me be... You've uh... made, you, you probably have some idea that, like, a vampire, you know, return, you know, regenerates within its coffin, but you don't know if Strahd 
he seems to break a lot of the rules that you would assume many vampires have. So you, you can't say for certain that that's how it is for him. Yeah, I'll tell that to everybody. Yeah. Puffin, I think, but um, not until I see it can I be sure. Hmm. Well then, that's, that brings another thing we can do. We can let Nix and Mia gallivant with the devil while we take care of business. <laughs> Huzzah. The question though, Sir Firestone, say you do find a long lost kin trapped somewhere in that castle, what, what will you do? I will, um, first, well, look, I'm not here for me, I'm here for you guys. It is, it is, not, you are priority number one, my priority number two is that, so I would probably, you know, convey this information towards you, um, and then we could either go with the route of saying, hey, we gave you the bones back, and let me have my friends back, mm. or, you know, we could just kill them right then and there. I like option B. <laughs> it's always the appeal, yes. Uh... Yeah, but we do have the big problem of the blinking one. Oh, That's yes, true. yes. Don't remind me. Also, before with this... Uh... Speaking of which... Yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Cosmer's not within the uh, scrying area. Neither is Mia. Neither is Mia. Who is not in, within it? Mia, oh, as you okay. leave Here we the go. room. <laughs> the room from. Sorry, not to. to oh, we'll come back to you guys. Don't worry. Do You're good. <laughs> you leave the room. You make your way downstairs quickly. Ludovic's kind of drunk at, at the table. You make your way out into the empty streets late at night. See the church up ahead. As you're kind of walking in that direction quickly, you hear from behind you. There you are. What do you want to do? What do you want? I just wanted to see where my most loyal servant had run off to. You had me worried sick. I couldn't seem to put my eye on you. Yet here I find you in Riverport. What are you up to, Mia? Burying our friend. Now leave me alone. Hmm. I mean, he already knows she's dead. He took her soul right in front of us. <laughs> you wish to be left alone? I thought all you craved was companionship. A sense of belonging. Why would you want to be alone in such harrowing times like these, Mia? You yearn for a tool to covet the power of the Raven Queen. I am a tool, but not for you. Now leave me be. I do not care for the Raven Queen. No, oh, servants and worshippers are a dying breed in these lands. I don't even care for these lands. My gaze sees far beyond the fogs of Barrowvale. Very soon, I will have the means by which to take what I want. I will show the corpse razor what a true loyal servant is capable of. Don't go running off again. I want to make sure I can keep my eye on you. Don't worry me. Yeah. No, don't worry. I'll be fine. Hmm. I have a legacy to uphold. <laughs> There's this cold sensation that kind of runs up your back as if like the air behind you was dying and just being like sucked into itself and your breath kind of <gasps> leaves your lungs for a moment. It's just quiet. And you feel his gaze on you. Now, I want to cut to 
to Ludovic for a moment. Just because. Oh, he's good. He's, he's just a little guy. He's a little guy. Little bit, cause you're at the table. Pouring down all of his emotions. Uh, you hear footsteps approaching, and you look up, and a very beautiful young barmaid has approached. Another round, sir. Make it. Oh. <laughs> Are you expecting somebody? No. I just want to drink a lot. Yeah. But this is a shame. I tend to like to drink in the company of others. Normally, I like to too. But it has been what a hell of a day. It would appear so. I'll fetch those drinks. She hurries off for a moment. You hear her kind of laugh to herself. She goes to the bar and returns momentarily with three tankards. She puts two down in front of you and keeps one for herself. And you see, she's not wearing her apron anymore. She she left it back behind the counter. Do you mind if I join you? what you want but I will tell you now I am a very happily taken man good no funny business all right yes yes where are they here Oh, my, 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 my lady friend. Yes. She is back in our tower. Doesn't care to drink too much. Are so. you? I've heard, are you one of the foolish heroes? The ones who have been traveling the realm in their flying tower? I've heard of you. You could call it, call it foolish, but yeah, we're the, we're the heroes. You... Are you... Casimir, okay. yes. I was just going to say that. I've heard he is the most handsome and powerful of all of the heroes. Honestly, it was Yeah, outside turns kings. around and grabs her mace. <laughs> <laughs> kings, that was the powerful one, but... Oh. It, he's not bad. Yeah. I heard that the devil took kings and Ludwig mm. and many others. Now, Ludovic, that man was wild. Yeah. He says so one of the gods, though. Oh. I've heard other words used to describe him. The probably foolish, stupid, reckless. Extremely charming, very short, incredible abs. I heard he was not very humble. I take it that maybe that's you. What? Not humble? She looks over next to you at this big gong. (laughs) Sitting on the chair. <laughs> no. And maybe on the letter it says property of Ludovic. <laughs> He's carved your name into it. <laughs> Ludovic was here. <laughs> I just wanted to come make sure that you were okay. I'm so I talk to many heroes. Humbleness isn't the trait that I really go by, but everything I've done since I've gotten to this valley has been in service of those I arrived with. I 
Maybe wouldn't call it humbleness. Foolishness for sure. But I would... I would lay my life down for all of those foolish heroes. Well, then I'll make sure to let anybody who asks about Ludovic know that he's very brave. Say, say what you want, honestly. I don't feel brave. More stupid and kind of failing. Yeah, you can you can do the fix of failure on many fronts. Well, I think that might be the alcohol talking, Ludovic. I'm perfectly sober. Okay. I rolled deception. <laughs> no, she. <laughs> she's been serving you. <laughs> so? Dang it! I just want to roll my plus nine at some point. <laughs> I have a plus nine and advantage, and I'm losing the How about roll deception for yourself to see if you believe see if you can trick yourself that you're sober? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, you know what? Actually, sure. Go for that. <laughs> Okay. Get in that one. Get in that one. Uh, first one's an eighteen. Uh, and second one's a twenty. Oh, wow, that was a nat one. On the uh, thank God it was advantage. Uh, Wait, how come you rolled with advantage? Uh, because I have expertise on deception and I think one of. One of my expertise just lets you double your proficiency. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make your own there's, advantage. There's a reason why I have advantage, and I'm trying to remember why. In either case, an 18 is yeah. enough that you definitely are like, I'm sober, and you I feel am. pretty confident that you are in fact it's sober. Not out of this at any point. Well, I better get going home, but I don't know. You just looked. Sad. I wanted to make sure you were okay. I've been like dead like three or four times. <laughs> I've seen worse things than sad. But you get home safe. You know, there's a devil aloof. Hopefully, not for much longer. Ludovic. I never caught your name. My name is Mary. Melly. The beautiful name. Oi. You like rangers? Uh, <laughs> they are very brave, yes. They are one of the few folk who stand up to Strahd and his hounds. Second question. Total with and out, out of the picture. How old did you ask me? What did you ask? How old are you? Twenty-two. Oh. Never mind. You have a safe night. You as well. And she slides her stein across the table to you. She hasn't touched it. Gives you a third on the house. Thank you. Trying to match make a deal. I was. I was. <laughs> and she's going to be 22. He already has one girl in he, love with him. In he has family. a girl that's crazy yeah. about him in this town already. Who's actually yeah. 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 my, sweet, my sweet Kadir. Okay. My sweet Kadir. No, no. You, you, you know that because... Oh, shit. I, yeah, I do. Yeah. You're drunk. Yeah. You were still trying to hook him up. Yeah. 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 Oh, game yeah. recognizes game. I respect yeah. that. <laughs> Let's head back to the tower. To the tower. To the tower. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. real fast, real fast, I should ask. So Ludovic's still there. Mia, you're heading to the, the church, and you've, where you've been having your interactions with, with the unblinking one. Nyx, are you heading back to the tower, or are you staying at the tavern? Uh, I'm going to head back to the tower. Okay. Actually, I have a quick question, because I think I oh, would have sure. gone here and said, when uh, Kari first came to us, and she went off into the wilderness and then she came back after we had just buried kings. She mentioned like a shrine to the Raven Queen. It disappeared. It disappeared. Was, it wasn't real. 
I think it was Nyx. Yeah, it was me yeah. that uh, saw it. Also, I figured out why I had the advantage, cool. but it was when I had knocked my cloud rune, I get advantage on ah. a charisma checks. So understood. I understood. So, um, yeah. never mind. Then yeah, I guess regular temple. Cool. And read the Bible. <laughs> okay, so back to the tower. Um, we'll say, or no, you guys are outside the gate. You're not at the tower. Yes, That's right. You're okay. painting. Uh, then you would see Nyx. The silhouette of Nyx making her way uh, kind of out the gate and you would see them all standing there and in the faint like moonlight that's kind of shining down and casting her long shadow down the road you're not sure if it's like shadows of nearby trees kind of creeping in but it, she almost looks like she has two raven wings sprouting off of her shadow stop she walks stop. stop 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 don't move hmm? don't I'm going to need you to stand there for the next I would say <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> Please? Just, I just need to block in the shapes. Hang on. It's it's for the art. Oh, this is magnificent. I just, I go inside. No! No! <laughs> it is, it's okay. Damn, it is okay. I think you do remember that exactly how can it's I, Can I do a... Can I try to make a sketch of what I saw? <laughs> no, no, yes! No, 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 no. Gajil, don't you don't have to sketch here. Look, use, use this canvas. Go for it. Give me a performance it, check. Oh, please. You all get ambushed okay. by werewolves as you're painting in the middle of the road. Can he have, oh, can he have, can he like have advantage uh, because I am helping him? Standing behind uh, <laughs> Wholesome, sure. do it. Yeah. Wholesome, roll. Wholesome, roll. Okay. Yeah, good. good. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, 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 That's just the vibe. It's the vibe a, of. Yep. Yeah. This was the, the 12. proportions are a little off, but. <laughs> To the untrained eye, it looks very good. Very well done, Gideon. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> I'll be like, what do you see? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> As you'd be like, it's not that good. <laughs> look, yeah. look, should we? No, 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 it is that good. Um, we could put it on the wall. In the tower. In the tower, <laughs> yes. It, uh, Where else? I'm... I'm nice... not here. I can't say uh, that. <laughs> I know. I'm not, not there either. The top, but no one goes through that much. We could hang it there. Or oh. do you have do you have a room here, Goodyear? We could put it in there. <laughs> I, I know that Craig and Rick will know the perfect place to put it. <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh, oh. Craig and Rick, our friends, for leaving the tower with us. It is neither here nor there. Beautiful painting. Yes. Teamwork. And he puts his hand up for a high five from Gadil. Oh, my yes. <laughs> oh, my God. You did it. Yes. A cheesy didn't camp leave counselor. Him. Didn't leave him hanging. Hell, yeah. He's the cool nice. substitute teacher. <laughs> oh. You call me Mr. That's F. Sad. So... Um, I guess this is finished. I think I'm going to start packing up all my supplies. Um, I, I think that y'all are preparing to for for a funeral. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We well, give me that shovel. As soon as I finish this, I'll get to work. <laughs> okay. Is is there anything anybody like to do before? We get to the morning in Kari's funeral. I would actually. Yeah, I would too. Okay, Ooh. let's do Kaz, and then we'll jump to Nyx. Um, just after speaking with Sir Firestorm, uh -huh. and trying to recall if I remembered anything about vamps, I wanted to see if maybe I can go into the town of these hunters and maybe find some information on because we're trying to eventually kill Strad, but we don't even know how to fucking do it. So I want to see if maybe I can find any information on how to kill a vampire or any, like, ma manual or historical tome. Oh, um, oh we just lost Jockey. music. Sorry, no. one sec. Jockey, no! no. The silence no. was deafening. Baby, come oh, back. You can blame it all on oh, me. I was wrong. Uh, I just can't yes. live without it is, you. It's because he started like, the song. It is you know, probably like somewhere in the realm of 10, 11 o'clock at night. Oh, it's pretty late. Um, so I'm not sure. 
Um, no, we, I... Yeah, you probably need to like wait till the morning. Kick in some doors. Yeah, Wake up! He's just... Hey! This hey! Is... Well, then... Can anybody help me kill Vampire? <laughs> vampire? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just you can go, to, uh, go to Nyx then. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I just want to go through uh, Melita's journal to see if I can find anything about Paz's previous life. Like anything she had like written down about Oh. Her. Uh, sure. Give me in a, just an investigation check. We'll just we'll see she how chronicled a bunch of shit, yeah. Yeah. Dear diary, today, this happened. Just an eight. But this foolish hero named Casimir. Nothing. Yeah. Shortly after. Um, <laughs> Control F. I, like, I'd say you kind of are, you know, skimming a little bit quickly just to see what yeah. you can find. And you find, like, mention of Casimir. She, she seems to be recounting, like, sh her ravens have been whispering tales of, like, this group of heroes in Barrowvale. And then they kind of just stop coming up. And she doesn't. You get the sense from her writing, she almost doesn't, doesn't want to put it to paper. It's like she almost just wants to... Keep believing that they're still there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, Got it. exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay, yeah. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. Ben. You all return to your tower. You get a good night's sleep. Crick and Drick are like, oh, I know the perfect place for this painting. This looks great. And uh, where do you guys want him to put it? Do you have anywhere specific you'd no. like them to put it? Like in the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> since we're all back in the tower, I guess one EBU thing that oh, oh, he oh, wants oh, to oh, do. I would like to do. I want to know where we're putting this painting. Um, <laughs> you know what they do? <laughs> when you give it to them, yeah, they're like, we know the perfect place. And they flutter over to the like, very poorly put back together statue of Kai, and they have him like holding it like in his hands. <laughs> he's like all fucked up though, and like crooked, and like what he's like a Picasso painting, but in statue forms, like <laughs> and he's holding it. What do you little, think? Little pebble the statue falls could down. be better, but <laughs> yeah. that is a hideous statue. But yeah, he wasn't that good looking anyway, so he's yeah. a great man. What? Oh, don't get me wrong. Great, great guy. But he was the half dwarf uh, in this. I think the harsher. Not features. much in the looks department. You br you mesh an elf and a dwarf, and it's just it's it's not natural. You know, <laughs> just a little weird looking. Hey Curtis, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Damn. Fucking hideous monster. <laughs> Mia didn't like you because you were ugly. It's That's all. Peace. <laughs> Damn. You didn't have a nice personality, okay? I just didn't say because I didn't know who he was. Y'all are savages. Huh? Drake is like leaning against uh, Kai's leg. Just kind of. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> I liked him. <laughs> it's my boy. I'm going to do just something before I go to sleep, just for my character. Like, I probably would have, like, a journey of my father and mother, like, passing the pages, like, putting, like, foolish hero episode and try to try to remember what we have done. 34. <laughs> okay. Journal note 34. <laughs> and, like writing the whole story that we will live to right now. I don't think we would finish. Just okay. Uh -huh. I like it. And I'll hang That's the good. painting that uh, Sir Firestorm gave me right above my little uh, sleeping roll. You'll nook somewhere in this tower. <laughs> cool. Uh, Mia, you said you had something, right? real quick um she wants to when crick and jerk are done being picasso over there um she wants to very kindly ask for her note back oh uh yeah sure he just like reaches into the wall here here you go um she takes it you read it didn't you I said you I could, but... I might have glanced at it. Drick read it. And you just see Drick. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> well. And I said, no. You know, like a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, um, I read it. Okay. Yeah, 
fucking read it. So what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> what do you do about it? Okay. Me. He was. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It and just, she said, "Oh, if you ever want to, if you ever want to talk about it or any of that, <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm here if you need to talk." Well, thank you. Um, I'm actually going to deliver it to the recipient right now. Actually. Oh wow! Yes. Greg, um, we gotta go watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Just. Yeah, just <laughs> there's, there's just two different sets of eyes in the wall watching. Whoa! Through the painting, just <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> they are in Kai's eyes looking through like, him. Whoa! <laughs> damn. Uh, so yeah. that's bye. <laughs> she just like get her, her patters off, and she just like walks up to Casimir, gently puts it in his hand. Oh. oh. Hi, um, here. A letter? I got a letter. Yes, you did. It's from you me. You just got a letter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wonder who it's from. It's, from. Uh, it's me. <laughs> hey, you want me to read this right now? You don't have to read it right now, but I would like for you to read it before we go to dinner, just in case. Oh, okay. Okay. Good night. Cool. Good night. Love you. Yeah. As you're talking to, you see, just behind Casimir's shoulder, you see like a little like, stony thumbs up kind of come out of the wall. <laughs> hey, you did it! Hey. Um, and I just I will send you the note. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it later that night. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's happening. Hey, I'll be that guy. There is something I would like to do before before full nap yeah. time is hitting. We'll jump is to you. Events. We'll jump to you. Um, yes, I, I get outside of the door of It's not that big of a thing. It's just for some reason when I saved it, it saved as a PDF. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go outside of the, the door of Gadil and uh, just a gentle knock, 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 knock. I'll be like... Yes? Um, it's, it's me, um, Firestorm. May I, may I come in? Yeah, of course. When, when you come in, I'm, I'm, I will probably like, not only writing about the story, like, reading some old notes to remember how it was when I was with my parents. Oh. So we'll be like a little tear there. <laughs> oh, hey there, hey there, get away. <laughs> Yeah, are you winning, son? <laughs> Just, tell, tell me, um, are you are you doing okay? Um, I see you've been writing and you've been pretty quiet. You had a bit more to say whenever I last met you. Guessing you've seen some horrible things, yes? Yeah, yes. Getting tired of everything. Yes, it's easy. It is quite easy to get to pretty much a a lull, rock bottom, some would call it. Um, know that there is hope. There, there is always hope. Um, I won't lie, I may have brought more than one thing for you. I loved your, I loved your little Amaru, well, not so little now, Amaru, so much, and I don't know, you reminded me of someone I knew from long ago. Um, well, just know that there's still hope, and there's always hope. As long as we stick together. And I actually, um, and he opens up his backpack and pulls out a uh, small book. And I actually brought this for you. Um, um, it's a story, a fairy tale um, about a mystic, a mystic red dragon. Her name was Ruby, and it's all about the wondrous things that she did for the wonderful land of Crimsonia. <laughs> I used to read it to my son. I, I take the book. I didn't knew you had a temple. I'm sorry? 
anything new you had a plan on? I mean, I had a whole life before we had to go to war. So. It's neither here nor there. It's what I would like to call the past. And that is where we're going to leave it, because what is here now is the future. I can, sh instead of dwelling on what was, I can create what is. You know what I'm saying? Right, the future. I can spread this positivity across everything. And eventually, once I stab the devil in the throat, then make him look me in the eyes as I fire my fire breath into his throat, through his mouth, of course, not through the same holder that I stabbed. <laughs> um, we... Thanks for the clarification. Because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, right? We can finally turn this place into something that it is truly meant to be, a place of peace. That's what we're working here for. You know? Yeah. Sometimes to distract myself, I think like, how could you help the people here when all of this ends? And I mean, you can make a, a pretty fancy haunted house in Lestrade Castle. <laughs> oh, I don't quite, we didn't have haunted houses. The place already seems like it's probably like just well dressed to do that without it, I'm guessing. Haunted house? Like, do you think this place is filled with ghosts? Because I don't like ghosts. No, it's just for entertainment. Oh, oh, entertainment. I love entertainment. Yeah? Yes, yes, like, um, and uh, he pulls out a uh, a wooden horse. It's like, I carved this. Entertainment. <laughs> I... No. I, I take out the book that I got in Abbey Road of all the, the, the stories of Strad and everything like that. <laughs> and also start to read it to Firestorm. <laughs> I like that they're having this very heartfelt moment over like this trap beat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna love it. It's like, <laughs> it was, it was so perfect. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, I, don't, I can't remember. I know I've mentioned him to y'all before, but I don't. Remember if anybody knows him, Runehammer from YouTube is like another. Yeah. 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 This is uh, the album that he released for his upcoming book. Oh. That he's publishing. That's sick. It's kind of cool. So I'm just throwing it on here. I said, oh, what can you do? This is kind of backwards. Um, I thought I was going to read you a story, but it turns out you've been reading me one. I've never heard this book before. Um, I found it on every route. Does it, does it bring you joy? Would it exactly. I would say like I enjoy more seeing the people's reaction to it rather than really me. Well, would you like me to read this book to you? I'm not gonna read this whole book to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, word by word. Um, I'll read. A, I'll read a little bit of it. I mean, wait, do you actually? This is an actual book. Uh, no, it's not an actual book. It's something I wrote. Fanfic. Fanfic. I'm <laughs> sending fanfic. Aaron's sending fanfic. It's great. In the enchanting kingdom of Crimsonia, there lived a good-hearted red dragon named Ruby with scales that shimmered like rubies in the sunlight. Ruby was a majestic sight to behold, but unlike other dragons, she was known for her gentle and caring nature. Every morning she would soar through the skies, spreading warmth and cheer to all the creatures below. Ruby loved to play with the woodland animals, who adored her as their protector and friend. She would use her fiery breath to light up the darkest paths for the lost travelers and lead them to safety back home. The children of Crimsonia would eagerly await her visits, for Ruby would tell them magical tales about far-off lands and brave heroes. With her kind of heart and adventurous spirit, Ruby taught everyone that true strength came not from power, but from love and compassion. And so, in the kingdom of Crimsonia, Ruby the Red Dragon became the beloved symbol of friendship and hope for all. And that's where I'll, that's where I'll yeah. head down. Kadil, as you're in your little section of the tower, 
So Firestorm is reading this to you and think a lot about your family. You kind of just close your eyes and you can almost hear the crackling of the campfire that you sit around with your mother and father as they would read you stories that they'd gathered from various lost civilizations, stories that hadn't been told to little kids in ages. You always liked hearing those stories. And as it kind of starts to drift off to sleep, you just hear the voice of your Firestorm start to kind of fade away. And the last thing you hear before you fall asleep is a beating heart. And you just drift off from exhaustion as everybody's getting ready for bed. first rays of the morning sun struggle to make their way through the clouds overhead and into the windows of your tower, but dawn has come. Would you like to head to the funeral? And bury a... Woo! Funeral! King's Funeral Part 2! Yeah. 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 Time to bury the, the beloved and, and widely adored Kari. Hell yeah, <laughs> she was. <laughs> okay. What do you guys want to do? Bury. Is there anything specific you want to do with this, or do you want to? Uh, we can roleplay this, a... or you don't have to. If you guys just want I mean, to say we bury. There is a particular prayer that I would like to say her because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna extra. cast yeah i'm gonna cast uh ceremoniously uh funeral right so we can't mm -hmm. be turned undead this car has been spread over as, as your eyes are read this prayer the others there you see a raven kind of fly down from the trees and land atop the grave and places one Feather atop the grave, and then it flies off. And as Nyx finishes the prayer, that feather just kind of spreads and just this kind of like diamond type dust that settles over the grave. Ooh. Mia just kind of sort of like gets herself a letter. She kind of like, <clears throat> don't know why I did that. Um, nerves. Uh, she kind of <laughs> looks over and uh, reaches out a hand to Nyx. Uh, may I? Yeah, of course. And she still holds her hands out, like, take it. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Um, she kind of, like, kneels her head down a bit, and she says, To your great glory, she vanished them all, and the dead rest in peace again. And as long as our mission continues to coincide with your commandments, we will remain ever truly your heroes. I know it is my fate to be here, and I pray that I am following your desires. Continue to grant me guidance and carry out my fate, and divine my purpose here in this place. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Maid Trend of Ravens. Guide our friends. As you finish your prayer, from the trees above, you just see this flock of ravens that you never really realized was maybe they were watching, just take to the sky and just fly up towards the clouds ahead. Huzzah! There we go. That's my prayer. Huzzah. <laughs> Huzzah. Huzzah, so, indeed. You have dinner with the devil. Tonight. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Should we get my is hair there, oh. is, is there anything you want to do before? Trying to um, get in his clothes. I guess now I'll do my vampire oh, yeah. book information search. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah okay. All right. Uh, yeah, let's jump over to. Uh, kings. Or, god damn it, why do I keep saying <laughs> Chasm, I don't know why I keep saying kings. So, quick question before we pan away. I just had a quick question. Um, oh, yeah. When Irina came with us to our tower, did she, did she bring her some of her stuff with her? Uh, <sighs> I don't, I, like, I'm not necessarily looking for, like, equipment, per se, like, secret, like, notes and letters. I'm more specifically looking for, like, clothes. Bare clothes. Oh, I see. I want to look like a moon scabbard. I there's a particular look that I'm I'm trying to portray at this dinner tonight. Ah, and I see. with Shmatiana. I would say between both Irina and Ismark, 
they both coming from like noble blood, they would have packed a trunk of like suits and dresses that would have kind of been like family heirlooms almost, like been worn by many, many moon scabbards in the past. Mm -hmm. You guys wanted with some magic mending and Mia's skills, like you could probably fix up a couple suits and, and, a, and a dress from that for you all. Yeah. I, I want to find one that looks the most like the one I remember Tatiana wearing in whenever I was in my memory with her as her. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure. a good person, guys. <laughs> Why are you guys tempting to fucking kill us? I we need his help, damn it! How is I how am I supposed to know? She's I just put the nice looking dress. Uh, Oops. I, uh, I would I think I think like will be look most like us. He's Mark. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You have to like cut the pants like by several inches so they fit you and have Mia like hem the the yeah. bottoms but and you have like a little like servant's like vest that fits you that you're able to button up with a loose fitting jacket, but those of you who want to can can wear a moon scabbard attire. But I'm doing it. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, I really look like it. Good mark anyway, so There you go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh Cass. How do you want to go about exactly trying to research mm. vampires here in Riverport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, I guess I would go to the Silver Moon Hunting Lodge, because, and and or maybe seek out um, what was her name? What's our contact here? Edith. 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 Yeah. Sure. And, and ask yeah, she'd her, be at the lodge. Yeah, so I'd go there and ask her that. I'll, yeah. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll an investigation check, and we'll say this is for Edith. Alright, this is not going to be good. That was the same as last time, 13. So we'll just take the flat roll. She she won't have a minus, but she won't have a, a plus either. She'll just take a 14. Oh, okay, 14. So you are not permitted in the Silver Moon Lodge. Only rangers are allowed inside. So she would have met you at the door and... A deal! We can see what we have in our, our library. She heads back inside and you wait for... Before you go, maybe like, this information will be used to kill Stradis. We want that to be clear. Of course, what's... Uh, is there another devil I should know about? Uh, yes, but maybe now not the time. <laughs> All right. Let me see what I can dig up. Heads back inside. Maybe an hour later, the door swings open. She has just a small, hmm. small kind of handful of scrolls. She's like bundled three or four together. It's not much. It's very little we know with the devil. But from the hounds that we managed to capture over the years, we've learned a little bit. This is the extent of it. And she hands it across or out the door to you. Thank you. Uh, anything is uh, better than, than nothing that we have currently. Of course. Are you... <clears throat> we are actually, we are uh, probably, what time is it? Uh, leaving by nightfall. Yeah. Where are the foolish heroes off to next? Uh, and I'll hold up the papers. I will um, let you know when we come back. I give her a little wink. <laughs> Putting the schmooves, I respect it. She kind of looks a little shaken for a moment before she says, That's just. That's what my sister said when she left. It is um, it is the deal when you um, are friends with hunters. Sometimes they won't come back, but we know this. But I will do everything in our power to make sure we do come back. I'm 
No, you wouldn't. Oh. Good luck to you. Thank you. Oh, and uh, quickly, do you know where I could get something that looks like this? And I'll point to, like, one of the ranger. I want to dress up in, like, kind of like the common clothes the ranger badass people wear here. That'll that'll be, like, the common clothes mm. that I would wear. Not, like, the armor, but, like, maybe it's just their regular... Yeah, she she kind of you point to like a gentleman who's walking down the street. He's not a member of the Rangers, but he's just a big a big dude here. And she looks at you. I don't think you could fit in what a lot of people wear. Imagine they come in. I mean, this body. Sorry, this individual, me, did so maybe. Just chasing your tail, Casimir. <laughs> of course. Uh, let me see what I can get. And she heads back inside for a minute. You hear one guy in there like, that is mine. <laughs> and she just kind of, just give it to me. And she snatches a couple clothes and she comes out and hands you a, kind of a, a bag. Looks like she's just stuffed a bunch of clothes in it. If this is the last time they see you. At least I could be doing you a favor. She hands you a bag. And it's a bunch of like different clothes and stuff that people here in town would wear. You look past her and some guy's just walking around with a yeah. shirt. And yeah, like, he's, yeah, there's just a guy like glaring at you, Casimir. <laughs> Bare chested, his shirt's gone. <laughs> Thank you, Edith. Until next time. Of course. Off you go. Go back to the tower. Okay. Uh, as you make your way back to the tower, you, you kind of throw open the scrolls and, and scan over them. It's really not anything crazy helpful the main thing that you learn stay away from their teeth that you stay away from their teeth <laughs> now, the main thing you learn is that like a vampire exposed to running water will take like it will just like the sun like, will burn away their flesh running water will also do the same which is why Riverport has fared so well being built right here on a river who's our Curtis? I'll share that with everybody. Look, look, this is what I found. This is what I found. Uh, Sir Firestorm, uh, it takes not a lot. It's running water, I guess, works just as well as sunlight. Can't hear you, Sir Firestorm. Speak up. Sir. <laughs> ah, ah, what? What? Sir, I, I wasn't sleeping, I swear. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, it's sunlight. Sunlight? Yes. Do you need... Uh, I don't tell you. I've searched through many ancient tomes looking for ways <laughs> to kill this uh, devil, and I found that, uh, I guess, the running water works just as well as sunlight. Running water? Where are we going to find that much running water, and uh, how are we going to put him in it? I mean, there's a <gasps> fucking waterfall that I remember going into. Do you think we can hold him long enough to melt him? Just inside kind of, of it? A swirly. <laughs> look, look I, I'm, I'm not a fan of bullies, but I like this idea. We'll, we'll table it, though, for now. Put a pin in it. So go back. I would much more have it be... Face to face, a, intimate. A more intimate death, mm -hmm. yes. We are of the same mind. Gonna light no some one. candles. <laughs> <laughs> set the mood. <laughs> yes, if the candle He's would back be... on his bed with his legs kicking behind him. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Yeah. Anything Something else anybody like... wants to do? So did did, did 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 everybody get fancy clothes? Or are we uh, all getting fancy clothes? What you see is mm -hmm. what you get. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, anybody just, else? I imagine I just have like I imagine them like Black utilitarian, yeah. not dress cute, not like, but like cool looking nonetheless. With I'm the, just gonna the clean up cloak. the shit that I got on. Ludovic just polishes his shield a little bit, you know, most scuffs. Like, yeah. Like in the first, uh, like. No way, I'm going to with the devil. Casimir, you're kind of sifting through the clothes that Edith got you. One of the. You pull out a belt that you the first thing you notice is that the belt buckle is shaped like a werewolf skull mm -hmm. with like a moon a crescent moon kind of going down through one eye and then up out the other okay. like it's like hanging from this moon 
And then you look at the actual leather that the belt is made out of, and it is like made from one of Strahd's hounds. Hell yes. That's exactly what I want. Yeah. Montage of just... Mia, as you're looking through Irina's stuff, you find a... You've never seen her wear it. Uh, But it has... It is like all black, just like what she would normally wear. Except for like where her sleeves would like come together and like like you know how like jedi like would put their yeah. hands and the sleeves would meet yeah <laughs> when you do that with your hands the way that the two sleeves meet it makes a fold and when the sleeves are apart it's like each sleeve ends up like a half moon and that's... there's like silver embroidery uh... like moons kind of all across it that's so Almost fucking something. cool i am putting that on i am get i'm looking Purdy. I'm I am cooking <laughs> fine. I'm in that dress. I'm cleaning up. I gotta brush my hair. You're gonna be turning some heads. Oh yeah, damn Until right. Until you start snapping ribs out of yourself. Yeah, it. like, oh Whoa. hey, check out my new dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hope I really doesn't mind. I'm still in her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's my clothes too, technically. Yeah. Family heirloom. <laughs> Family heirloom. Yeah, yeah tomato yeah. tomato. She's like your cousin, thirty cousin? removed yeah. cousin or something. Cousin? I don't even yeah. know. Yeah, it we're cousins. It's fine. So, so I get done. So we can just little... He's not happy that you're taking her shit, <laughs> <laughs> but he's not gonna say anything. He's just gonna like give you like the mean mug while he's cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> you're scuffing out the where you'd carve Ludovic was here. You're like, ah, why did I do that? You just got long eyes with him. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. You're gonna gonna give me that look, are you? <laughs> Not your dress to wear. You look good though. Not your dress to wear. Last I checked, I'm a moon scabbard. Furiously, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> she kind of rolls her eyes and smirks. Whatever. You hear a little <laughs> voice behind you, Mia. I, I think you look good. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> welcome. You turn around, you don't see anybody, but you feel like your friendship bracelet. Ah, uh, kind of so like. Just... Oh, so I yellow. thought that was Crick and Trick. So they all just... sound the same. They all yeah. sound the same. Yeah. No, like so, like you just hear randomly me and just go, "Thank you" to nobody. <laughs> you like Crick looks up. You don't say anything. Yeah, what? Uh, nothing. You don't know the devil. Or your little in friend. It's like, what? No, <laughs> <was> no, <laughs> not, not Strahd, not Strahd. And she just kind of like taps her necklace. My, uh, yes, it was. You could say it, Nia. Your best friend. <laughs> and she's just smiling at Ludovic, not responding. <laughs> I'm going to go check on my best friend. <laughs> and <then> she leaves. <laughs> oh, that's good. Checking right. on everybody. Uh, mm-hmm. Why don't we go ahead and take our? I think now's a good time to take a break. Take yeah. a big B. Yeah. About ready yeah. to head to the. Oh my god! We're so let's come back the at the. Uh, oh, no. Let's come back at the ten. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, my god. Got good. it. Thirty-four See episodes you in. Soon. I'm kill. As you conclude the funeral of Kari Kings, the sky above has grown far darker. The rain begins to fall down and make its way through the trees. You pull your wolf fur cloaks up. It begins to kind of just mat the fur a bit. It's very quiet. No ravens to be seen. It's like the whole valley is kind of holding its breath. Is there anything you want to do before you leave? kind of have the whole day he said he'd see you the I'll following make evening so this this night <laughs> i'll be hungry i'll help firestorm with brekkie <laughs> okay. be like so, old times mia makes breakfast for yeah, everybody last meal. Okay, it was a a very tense afternoon lunch uh, a brunch a brunch party <laughs> yeah it's just the uh, remember i don't we don't know what's version of Strat we're going to get 
No, no, sure. it's going to be a convivial, uh, friendly strad. We don't know if it's going to be um, a hoity-toity, uh, laugh-in-your-face strad. But either one, either version is not to be trusted. Just because he looked sad doesn't mean you should feel for him. Agreed. He will wish to seduce your mind. But we cannot have that. No, we can't. Well said, Sir Firestorm. Don't, Anyways, don't here's your eggs. Sir Firestorm. <laughs> Anyways, here's, here's your eggs. eggs. <laughs> are you going to finish your bacon? <laughs> no. Hoop. Here you go, Hoop. My mind is not Hoop so and uh, Amari were just like wrestling outside. <laughs> yeah, that's how I imagined it. Oh my god, they're playing. Oh no, no teeth, no gnarls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gnarls, it grows thicker skin, thicker scales. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning marks the sky. It's a clap of distant thunder. Shit. Interesting. My fall is quickly approaching. Are you ready to attend dinner? Is there any yeah. sort of uh, Commander Shepard cockpit scene that we have going on here before the suicide mission? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> And anybody like uh, doing any last kumbayas before we march yeah, on? Yeah, do you have any? Yeah. I might rate them to don't bother. And uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, good deal. Give me a religion check, please. While I pull up. Oh my fucking god. At least it was an one in uh, here, not in a <laughs> Oh shit. Did you roll a two? No, just a, a one. one. Just a, a one. one. Oh! Natural oh. One. <laughs> um, uh, could I, can I pray with him? <laughs> <laughs> no, but only because it's been after the fact. Damn. Okay. Where the hell? Hang on. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> mm-hmm. You somehow pissed mm-hmm. off the Don Father. Like, fuck off, dude. Quit talking to me. <laughs> you just Take, going, a hint. Take a hint, kid. <laughs> I started praying and I end up joining with the I'm blinking one. Arch fair. I could I could also do a prayer if you tell me. I'm just waiting until you guys give me the all, all good sign that you want to go. All right. I'm just there. Yeah, I'm good. I guess I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. Let's go. You head up to the top of your tower. Sip through your bag. Hear the clinking of four files. Pull up one. And cork it. Airport outside Castle Ravenloft. You're down to three vials left. Three vials. These have tower so long begins time. to emerge a long time. So long. A long Sorry. time. Like 20 sessions. <laughs> you see lightning arc overhead as water just falls off the side at the top of the tower. Crick and Drake kind of tentatively like open the door. You see this huge stone archway leading to a long narrow bridge over a treacherous chasm and silhouetted by a flash of lightning on the far side you see Castle Ravenloft rising up like a fade into the sky a large section of it broken away and crashed down where the waterfall still plummets two figures stand waiting to greet you morning at Dracht. Not in their devilish form, back in their original forms, but you see Ebdrak just still missing his jaw. They're both wearing, like, waiters, like, servant type <laughs> attire. Yes. Oh, my fucking... And you see Ebdrak, like, like, goes to bow and mourn, like, elbows him, like, what are you doing? Hey. <laughs> Oh, the breach out here, so. Welcome, I guess. I don't think they know what you're. Yeah. 
Just we, we like us. it as much as you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. And, and, and you just turn. kind of peeks up to the front, and she realizes like she's the first time she ever saw them. She saw like them as like corpses on the ground like way back yesteryear she never got to hear what Evdrak sounds like so she mentally links with him and just was like what did you say i said welcome to castle ravenloft it's a pleasure to have you what if he's for like serving you this evening <laughs> well thank you you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> jet's all internal then she like lifts her hands up to do the Jedi thing, and she's ready, <laughs> ready to be led. As Mia as, the Jedi, let's yeah, go. As we're walking, out, <laughs> I, I want to walk next to Mia and just keep staring forward. And uh, I'll say, uh, hey, Richard Litter. Yes. It was very nice. And a lot to think about. So we can talk about it. Uh, once we get out of here, yeah? Got yourself a deal. <laughs> I don't want another one. <laughs> oh, come on. You can trust me, right? <laughs> she just gonna, she does the thing that she did with Casimir when they first met. She kind of like bumps into him. <laughs> kind of like, huh? <laughs> All right, I accept. As you pass beneath the archway following more than that track, you see two of the huge gargoyles just clutching the stone. You almost feel like you can hear the stone cracking under their arms as they're looking down at you through just these black stone eyes. And the rain begins to hit the bridge. As you walk over it, you look down over the side, and it is several hundred feet down into a rushing river. It flows down from the Black Feather Peaks. And uh, Morin kind of slows his pace, takes a step up next to Ludovic. Kind of... oh, Ludovic is walking in the dead center, not looking at either side. <laughs> He's still fucking afraid of heights. He nudges you a little bit. Pretty big fall, huh? It'd be a real shame if you were to uh, trip. I mean, I've always known you to be pretty clumsy, so. I don't think your boss would be very happy with no, that. No. Though I will say it's probably very demoralizing having to escort us in. Yep. Like a bunch yep. of maids. <laughs> what was that? Don't mind, don't, don't mind that guy. Just don't mind that guy. Uh, it's a, uh, you're you're really uh, when we get inside, you should bring me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Best Joke's episode. on you. I think, I think Strahd Strahd already told us we have to do that. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, I just wanted to ask you. Uh, Ludovic, I mean, now that we're walking here and I can't do nothing to you. Why? Kid. And it's. Say that again, you, why did you take it? And he like looks at your gong. I mean, it's just a stupid gong. And now you're here being escorted into a castle where the devil lives and we're trying to, I mean, it just has brought you nothing but misery. Why'd you do it? You know, there's many nights that I actually wonder that myself. I think it just, it reminds it's the sense of hope and freedom that it brings when I play it. I mean, you know, before I took it, I had no idea that it was even magical. To be totally honest with you. And, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, like, you, you know, you know of the Shadow-Held clan. I mean, we're kind of old thieves. So... Made a lot of money bringing in people from that clan. Yeah. Yeah, those were a lot of our younger ones, you know. Not the brightest. But, I mean, still... Not like you. 
And you see, I he mean, like you looks guys... over at Epdrak and like gives him a. Look. <laughs> yeah, I never said I was the best. I didn't really care for the family trade too much. I mean, after taking this, I was going to leave. But I mean, hey, followed me here and shit. You were just bounty hunting, just wanted to be criminals. Now you're the what top lieutenant <laughs> for a for a fucking mm. devil. I mean. I mean, kudos to you two. It is not too bad. Not too bad. I know. I, I, I mean, the scenery is not the best. The, 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 you, the scenery is not the best, but I mean... You and your yeah. friends did kind of kill us, and... Uh, I guess they're not really here anymore, but... Uh... Anyways, I just was... That's been eating at me ever since we got here. I just wanted to know. So... Yeah. I also wanted to give it to the mayor. No. Guy, God, you gotta admit, the guy was an asshole. He was nothing compared to my new boss. And then the doors, the huge, massive front doors to the castle, which look like furled in bat wings. They even have like kind of like ridges on the metal, like where the like winds travel through the wings. The door swings out. And a few bats. <laughs> fly up into the night sky just as the rain begins to hit the stone you brought inside. Dim, dim chandeliers flicker high overhead and illuminate this grand but vacant, deathly empty foyer. See there are paintings that fill the walls. Most of them are of straw in various Moments of victory over the Emberlance knights and others that you don't recognize from his youth, yeah, from the time when he would serve under his father. Led through empty hallways, up winding stairways. The air around you gets colder. I want to do... Oh yeah, I can do. Well, two things. First, try to memorize us, everything I can of the castle and. Mm -hmm. With, I don't know if the knowledge I have of build, buildings and everything, can I try to guess where can be Strat's room or something like that? Oh, sure. Give me, um, geez, I guess, uh, just give me a, an investigation check. Okay. Also, would I recognize any of his, like, stories or things from the pictures because I am family like maybe legends I've heard or like stories <laughs> about him or anything give me a history check uh can you with a 14 uh and you said history kind of yeah and then I'll I've got your own in front of me so I'll, I'll get that in a second mm -hmm. you're making your way through the castle you kind of let yourself fall back to the back of the group a bit and just in your ears to the Faint echoes as you hear your footsteps click down the stairs. You smell the air. Air is fouler the higher you climb. So you, if you had to take a guess at where your prey might be, Strahd's personal chambers seem to be higher up as opposed to down beneath the castle. Okay. Yeah. Eventually you're brought to a large dining hall. The table has been spread. There are enough chairs for all of you. And then like at the far end of this table is just all your little chairs and then huge throne for Strong with a crackling fire and a massive portrait of Strong standing victorious over an ancient red dragon with a spear stabbed down through its heart. Not present at the moment. Morn looks at you all says, and the uh, master's still getting ready, so can we get you anything to drink or? Well, yes, uh, maids, I would like uh, a nice- You better watch that. Uh, watch what? I'm not a maid, okay? Um, 
the suit says otherwise. Either it's way. A suit. I am a minion of. To... Shut up. A what? <laughs> up. A what was that? What was that? <laughs> Just tell me what you fucking want. A big old jug of mead. One big enough that your tiny little body couldn't carry it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Get right back. up. And oh, he it. turns stiffly and starts to leave the room. Make sure me. make sure your friend stays away from it. I don't want any of that demonic saliva falling from his gross tongue. You You're got ugly. It. Oh. This is just he can't have to do himself this whole time. He's just like <laughs> just Is there like leaving Oh go ahead, Mia. No, he's Mia just goes. Thank you. Just you like shake your head. Head. Like, yeah, just... Who the fuck is this new guy? I don't like this guy at all. You won't like me much more when this treaty's done. <laughs> kind of funny. And morning, Edrak. Head off to fetch drinks and food, and you find yourselves left alone in this dining hall in Castle Ravenloft, searching for secret doors. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Please I'm be like... careful. You deal with that. How do you say this in English? I'm going to take a guard. I don't know how to say this. Like, just take... to pay my attention. Like, they when they are coming back or someone else is. Coming oh, okay. In, mm -hmm. You just want to make sure watch. you don't get yeah, keep, keep a watch. watch. Keep a, keep a watch. Uh -huh. Sounds good. Yeah. 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 And then I wanted to know if I noticed anything in those paintings or anything. Okay. Well, how about we just go around? Because you guys kind of wait for like. An hour. Oh, power two. move. Oh, oh. classic power uh, move. I'm gonna oh, power so you all are gonna have a, a little Jesus. bit of time here. So. The table. Good deal. Why don't you go ahead and give me a perception check? Oh, Twenty-five. Oh. Oh. Right. in time and space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you're standing behind us, kind of just <laughs> sitting at the table, just keeping an eye out, just watching. You close your eyes for a second, just listen. And you hear. The same beating that you'd heard just before you drifted off to sleep. This slow, rhythmic, be beating. Nobody else hears it, or at least seems to give any indication that they do. It's very, very faint. It's like you can just barely feel it. And I hear like it is coming from outside, above, below, or I just hear it. With a 25, I'm listening even closer. It seems to be coming from above. Mm. Um, okay. So I I I I turn around to see a fire sound like do you hear that? Hmm? Hear what? The heart beating. Express why don't you go ahead and give me a perception check as well? I'll perceptify. See even to time and space. Join Cadillo. Ascend. Ascend. That was a 21 sound. Ooh, pretty damn close. Ooh. You, you listen in, and you do hear it. Or maybe feel it? You can't, you can't tell if you're hearing a heartbeat, or if your own heartbeat is like warmer and like louder in this moment you're not sure but it's definitely like a strange hmm. feeling good deal my boy what is that oh it's um, exhilarating i don't know i'll tell you later <laughs> it feels like an omen from the gods <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, I would like uh, to concentrate on that heartbeat well, and tell me more about it. I'm going to search this place. It must be filled with traps. It must be filled with nothing but nefarious goons <laughs> and deeds. 
unbeknownst to any person with a good morality. If you would like to help, you can. Yeah. Is, are you are you good with that, Cadillo? Is there anything else you want to do, or should we move on to Survivor Storm? I, I approach Firestorm and whisper the dream I have. The, when I saw like the heart beating, I touch it. Like the strat was beating a bit when the the dream I had when I level up. Mm -hmm. When you saw him drinking blood from a heart. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, it was you saw who drinking blood from it was oh it was Strahd. Strahd. Yeah. yeah. Drinking blood two and two. Yeah. My boy, I have not had this form of feeling since long before I had been turned to stone. I think Imafeng is still alive. I could be wrong. Is that his is that his heartbeat? Is that his heartbeat? If it is, I don't know how much time it has. <laughs> well, where is it? I can feel it, but I, I can't sense it or see it. I think it might be above us, but I had the feeling that Strat's room, it's also above us. <laughs> so these things are one and the same. I'm not sure. Um. Ooh, I'm gonna need you to hold me back right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's a firestorm. But what do you want to do with your turn? I say this aloud to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was. I'm going to need you to give me a real good reason to hold back right now. Party team. Um. We are in what? enemy territory that we don't know. We don't know that we are surrounded. We are. We don't know that if we are in a trap, or if we are not. How many traps are they? Uh, yes, trick, trick. I'll, I'll uh, say it's a Sir Firestorm in Draconic. Mithrax Malawar. Uh, and that will be, <laughs> that'll be like, uh, <laughs> I understand how hard it is to stifle what you are feeling right now, because I'm feeling the exact same thing. But I tell myself we are gathering information and to act swiftly like I want to. <clears throat> I will admit it's not the best thing. So, going against this nature is annoying but it is what we unfortunately have to do Oof, okay breathe breathe that was a big firestorm <laughs> all right okay I, uh, you won't do it i would go with you know my what i said no you know what i said it's a good deal. i will go with my gut um i'm going to search this place for traps and trinkets and secret doors and everything that could come out and potentially bamboozle us Sure. Thank you, Sir and... Firestorm. I need you here. I'm not leaving. What? I know. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. Day. Make another one. Perceive into space yeah. and time. Oh, perception checks. Shoot, fire. That's a. Oh, that was not nice. fire. <laughs> that looked like a 17. It's an 11. <laughs> you. The song is. Very epic. What the hell? His super is. That's probably why I've been yelling. <laughs> this is how oh, no. Sir Firestorm hears in his head as he's doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if, you get, if you get close enough to him, you can hear him hung his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hang on one sec, one sec. I thought it, this was like a vampire playlist. But I didn't think it was going to be like a vampire <laughs> combat playlist. Just in the corner, just Many fucking types. going ham on his gong, just like. <clears throat> <laughs> Survivor Star. Hello. With an 11. You just pace this room, doing your best to try and examine every nook and cranny, but not only are you distracted by the thought of everything possibly being here, you see that the walls here are like lined with 
beautiful artwork, tapestries, suits of ancient armor. And the closer you look at the armor, the more you realize many of them are Emberlance suits taken from fallen enemies. And occasionally you'll pass by one and you'll look through, like into the eye slits of the helmet and you'll see a Jaconic skull staring back at you. Or you'll see like these bloodshot, zombified dragon eyes just looking at you, and then you'll get closer and there's nothing in there's nothing in the suit of armor. You'll like lift up the latch and they're empty. Like when you're holding it open and you're like confident looking, there's nothing there, you can hear coming from inside the suit. <laughs> Just let it fall back down. Continue to walk the room. That shakes you. I there are traps here, you're not sure. I kick the suit of armor over. I just, I just, ah! I can... You're all kind of startled by the sound of metal just <laughs> sparking across the floor. I can't handle sitting here and being idle and being peaceful. This is, ah! Okay, good. All right. <laughs> I'm done waiting. Devil, come here now. <laughs> <laughs> Ludovic. Yes, sir. What Knights do you want to do? are not very patient. He's waited 600 years. That was, that was, I was 633. That. Sorry. But who's keeping track? Not yeah. Firestorm. He's too <laughs> yeah. patient. Yeah. He's been dusting yeah. his little temple too much. Mm-hmm. Ludovic, what did you like to do? He was, like, to... sit at the table and I kind of, like, I have my gong probably, like, on my lap. And, like, I don't have my feet on the table, but, like, I've scooted one of the chairs out. And, like, I'm just, it's just, like, I'm just lounging back, but with the gong on my lap. And I'm just, like, tracing some of my runes. And then... I want to do just, like, a, a light tap to, like, resonate and see if maybe I can hear, like, if it's loud enough for Arthur to hear to maybe him send something back to me. To, I don't know if he's still, you know, kicking boons or anything. Go ahead and give me a performance check. Oh, I fucking like this. That's a goddamn plus nine. Uh, performance... Oh, fuck. 14? Oh, uh, I thought, isn't it a 22? Yeah, it's a 22. I don't know why the fuck I rolled twice, but I'll gladly take that 22. <laughs> that's the first, that's the, that's the higher number. Check. The first. You send out this, it's a very soft note, but it's carried on magical, like, waves, like, further than it should for the low volume you're playing. And you listen. You hear something return. The same melody. But it's played on like a... An out of tune violin. It is not an out of tune oh. Almost sounds like another gong. Which is weird. And it doesn't sound like it's coming from below, where Arthur Proud's song. As it would have been. Actually, sounds like it's coming from like just outside the door. Like the, the doors into this into this dining hall. Like the one behind me, or is there like another set of doors? No, like the main doors. The main doors. There's a couple like side doors for like servants and waiters and stuff, but none of those have opened. Um, I hear it and. I kind of get, I get curious. Like I kick my feet down, and like I stand up and looking around. I'm kind of pinpointing that, like where it was coming from, and I lock eyes onto that door. Throw the shield on my back, and I want to go, like crack open the door. Oh. Push the door open. Lean out into the hallway. 
Uh, they lit flickering torches and portraits line the wall. This blood red carpet runs down into the darkness at either length. And you hear from the shadows down to the right. Boom, boom. The gong play. I'm in a dilemma right now because I really want to fucking chase it. If I don't get to chase my dreams, <laughs> you can't chase yours. What you doing? I want to look, look around to see if anybody else notices me. Like, at the we're gonna door. in these kinds of moments where you guys have been like I'm sitting sure around for an hour. It's yeah. kind of like, eh, like you guys are, you know, some of you might poke your head out, go into another room. You know, I don't want us to be like. Yeah, oh, get, get, it's the whole time. Yeah, yeah. you get s- spirited away. Mm. <laughs> right, Landon? What are you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> you look back and see everyone kind of just doing their thing, and I'm going to go for it. Why don't you go ahead and give me another perception check? Boy. It was nice knowing Ludovic again. Wow, it's rolling Ooh. double for you. That's so weird. Yeah. Because your first roll was an at 20. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm, I'm going to change my dice. That... Yeah, yeah I'm going to take that and go on it because that was the first number. But, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my dice real quick and see if it's going to do a double roll again. So, but I'm taking that at 20. I'm taking that at 20. <laughs> oh, it, take it. It's given. You can take it's it. giving that 20. Oh, what it's the fuck? Again. I don't know why it's doubling for you. That's so weird. I'm gonna like go out of it on my phone. Mm-hmm. Reopen it. Weird. You follow the acoustics or the the echoing melodies as they dance and flutter down the hall. Follow these narrow hallways further and further away from the kitchen or from the dining hall. And you reach a hallway where the suits of armor change to jesters some of the suits of armor have like had like colorful jester caps placed atop them or robes kind of falling down off of them bells hang from the armor they are portraits of smiling proud tits those who seem to be loyal to straw you see many of them have like rings that you identify as, you just know that they are rings of the hidden fang it gets darker and darker until suddenly you hear boom a heavy gong from the shadow. And then you hear the sound of like metal, like a, like ooh, 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 this weird sound until you see this rusty shield kind of roll out from the darkness and fall at your feet. Look down at it. There's nothing really that remarkable about the shield. You don't recognize it. Your hear blue steps. And you hear like something kind of like rustle and thrown out into the darkness. You see this like, almost looks like a big, like the like the stick that you would use to play a gong, you know, where it has like yeah. a big like mallet yeah. thing at the end. You see one of those get tossed out. And it's like covered in like fur or something weird and it kind of rolls towards you. And then as it turns over, you see this stick stabbed into the head of Ludovic. The head that was ripped from your shoulders. I knew, I knew it. Back in front of it. That's not a good mental image right there. And will you real quick give me a charisma saving throw? <sighs> My guy. Um, okay. <laughs> The actual fuck. Hey, uh, 21. Oh. Hey. And it rolled one hey. time that time. Interesting. You see, like your breath, you can see it. It gets freezing cold. You feel fear trying to like grip, like a, almost feels like an actual hand trying to like grip your heart. What is it that you think of in this moment that it allows you to overcome this fear? As you're like looking down at your own old face. 
I'd like to think that it'd be like a visage of Irina. Kind of just like coming up to my side and just saying like, like you made a promise. And it kind of like, cause like seeing my head, I'd probably like, would be like a little bit frightened, but also like angry that someone like just disrespected me enough to do that to my corpse. And it just kind of like, it kind of just pulls me back and a, a calmer me. Or calm, yeah, calmer Ludovic. You hear the words of Irene in your head and you close your eyes. And take a deep breath. When you open your eyes, the shield is gone. You don't see your head. The light has sort of returned to this hallway. And you've realized you've actually like walked to a dead end. And on the wall, there is a portrait of a familiar looking woman, a passing resemblance to Nana Dark Cradle, maybe, stand like sitting in a chair beside Arthur Proudsome. And he has this big smile on his face kind of this silly, goofy, like, bardic costume. You could see his violin, like, hanging at his side. One of the strings. So, like, you can just tell by looking at it, you're like, it is out of tune. Like, at, in this portrait, as it was painted, it was out of tune. tune at all. And you notice, like, in the painting, Arthur's, like, looking at, like, whoever's painting this and just smiles, but who you now recognize as Tara, her eyes are, like, looking off into, like, another another direction. It doesn't seem that. Like her mind was not present at the time. You should kind of just that cheerful feeling. Yeah. I'm going to just look at it. Trying to do like a, a slight nod. And I'm just going to go and return to the dining room. Okay. So. Mia. Is there anything Hi. you would like to do while you wait? Um. Well, I guess to sort of, like, set this up and, like, bait it, because she's like, very nervous about being here. She's like, every time I've been here is against my will, mentally and <laughs> physically. Okay. <laughs> and, and she's, like, looking around, and she's, like, counting her nerves. She's, like, picking at her nails a bit, and she looks around, and she notices she doesn't hear the Ludovic's gong anymore. She's like, oh, where'd he go? Oh, we're in Strahd's Tower. Where'd he go? And she, and she goes, and she goes to try and find him but like she's so worried and she kind of gets lost in thought I, and i think she i mm -hmm. don't want to interrupt what you're doing but what i was going to mm -hmm. do kind of involved you and i just wanted to oh. grab something from you real quick and then you could do whatever you want oh okay yeah sure uh, okay as you get I'm up as you table. get up no as right mm -hmm. before you're about to get up and go i uh mm -hmm. i just want to say uh, mia can i could i borrow something from you real quick of course anything and i'm gonna take something that you had in your bag just because I have that marked down in the, our document that you had it. Oh, um, okay. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Sorry. Thank you. And on that, okay. that's it. I'll be back. I'm going to find Ludovic. <laughs> and <careful>. I'm going <laughs> to... Always. And she says very, like, oh, you know, why is on me? Me, Mia. Always careful. <laughs> Never done anything wrong in her life ever. <laughs> but just sort of going to subconsciously, I think, end up in the room that she ended throne room of this castle? I don't... There are a couple different rooms, but you want to get certainly try and find your way to the throne. I mean, more so, she's not actively trying to find it. I think mm -hmm. her she subconsciously goes there. Understood. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go ahead and give me a perception check? I would like to perceive so You're hard. To find Ludovic. Perceive. I would like to add my knowledge for past life to this. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. 
But, you know, every little bit helps right now. Where is where is it? It's at the very bottom, because of course it is. Gonna add a juicy d6 to that. Oh, so 17 <laughs> overall. What the fuck, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> 17? Yeah, 17, uh, 17 overall. As you're, you, you, you poke your head out, you're like, Ludovic, Ludovic, where'd you go? You hear from the left jingling of bells and then <laughs> and you hear that jingling again and the sound of like almost like boots hitting and then hands hitting and the boots as if someone was doing a cartwheel and you recognize the laugh Serena proudly Okay, fun. Guess who's ignoring that? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here. Creepy ass laugh too. Yeah. Damn. Big. Mm -hmm. Nope. Good creepy ass laugh. <laughs> what do you want to do, man? Big old um, Bro, this place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, Mia's not gonna run away anymore. Break. She's gonna be a big girl. I'm going to follow the creepy clown laughter because that's a great uh, idea. Uh, 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 <laughs> they never died in the movies. No. Uh, what's, what's it? This you never has gone bad ever. Turn left. Follow the sound of bells and laughter up a few flights of stairs. You get to a familiar hallway. It's at the end of the door, or at the end of the hallway, two doors that you, you just know on the other side would be the throne. And you see in the door, it's slightly cracked. You see a face, like perfectly sideways, kind of leaning out, looking down the hallway at you. Big Harlequin headpiece, just kind of dangling. And these long nails just kind of let go. And she just like slides perfectly sideways back behind the door. <laughs> Love that for me. Uh... <laughs> Miguel! Oh, what did he say? <laughs> it's okay, guys. I'm Latino. I'll die first. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um... We're not gonna go there. Um, I'm going. To... <laughs> I'm going in the room, the room where it happened. You make your way down the hallway. There are portraits that line the walls of people you don't recognize. Distant raven lofts. All of them, though, their eyes aren't looking at you, but they all have that same painful smile on their face. Like the people. The door. We should open. You see, nobody. Chamber's empty. Far end of this coal stone throne room is an empty throne. Kind of has a few flickering candles around it. The wax, this blood red color. The melted wax almost like drips down over the throne, like like blood. And a long crimson red carpet leads up to the throne. What do you want to do? <laughs> Sit on the throne. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this urge from Sir Firestorm to compel me to sit at the throne. I I don't know what it is, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to this throne. You you bet your tushy. I'm gonna do that. Will you give me another perception check, real quick? I will perceive so hard. Please do. Perceive! I would like to use my inspiration. Perceive! It's the same fucking roll! I'm gonna add a knowledge of a past life! No, I'm not done yet! I'm not done yet! That's much better! That's another 17. Oh, uh, ha. Uh -huh. Numbers. Walk down Numbers. The of this the length of this carpet, close to the throne, 
You hear the slightest jingle of a bell. You turn around and you see crawling on the ceiling, just following you slowly, Serena Proud thing. But her head is like twisted and like snapped backwards. You can't actually see her face. She's just slowly crawling through the air. Just following you, not doing anything specific. Thank you, Landon, for that lovely imagery. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. When you turn and look at her, she just kind of stops and cartwheels like backwards a little bit and then just kind of does like a little curtsy and starts to like in this weird way where she's like curtsying upside down on the ceiling begins to float straight down it turns in the air lands on the floor and as she turns her head up there is this black eye socket you hear the unblinking one say there you are I believe I was very clear in my wishes, Mia. Do not stray from my sight. What are you scheming? Hmm? Strange. Thought I heard bells. Must have been my imagination. And she's just gonna walk back out of the room. Left him on red. Left him on red. <laughs> and we got the cold shoulder. Yeah. As you won't get that walk past Serena, who is still like in this like contorted like curtsy like pose, but her like limbs are just in like uncomfortable weird positions, and she just has this black eye socket like staring out and this big smile that almost like, curls up around the socket. Kind of get right beside it. You hear the unblinking one say again. I will not ask again, Mia. You have walked a very dangerous road since I brought you into this world. Do not tell me what it is you are scheming. And the next time you hear from me, Will be the last time. Fucking me! <laughs> no, uh, she just sort of stops, and she looks over to Serena. Unfazed. She's just looking straight ahead. Mm-hmm. Unfazed. Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny. I didn't ask you to bring me back. You did this to yourself. I don't owe you anything. If you want to take me back, take me back. But I don't think you can do that anymore. I'm not telling you anything. Do with that what you will. As you walk out the room, you just hear Serena cartwheeling towards the throne. The door (laughs) slams shut behind you. And I run into Ludovic as he's walking back. She's like, you, you, and she hugs him. You do not leave ever again. Why are you hugging me? Because every time I try to show you affection, you act like a jerk. And now I don't care anymore. I love you. (laughs) I wouldn't say love, but I'm... Listen, I have a girlfriend, okay? Get off me. (laughs) <laughs> I would have to accept a man to a stone statue in my tower. <laughs> she looks at you dead in the Who eyes. Also my sister. I'm in love with Casimir. Why are you telling me this? I'm already aware. That's the first day you saw him. It's not uh, like you made it real, like, not obvious. Uh, I'm not into you like that. You're not my type. I'm not into Casimir. I know you don't like me. <laughs> okay, see, now we're in agreement. I'm going to keep hugging you and telling you that I love you platonically. <laughs> I mean, and as you're having this platonic hug, Nyx, let's get to you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just want to look at all of the like tapestries to see if I recognize any of these battles or things from when he was young. Bonding with you. 
Go ahead and give me a history check. Okay. You bond with Ludovic, you can't bond with Leg. Thirteen. You growing up at, at like at that young age where like your parents and like people would like talk about things in front of you, but in a way that you didn't know what they were saying. You always like knew like there was some dark part of your family's history that like they just didn't ever want to talk about. And as you're walking through the room and kind of the nearby hallway, just looking at paintings, trying to see if like any of this stands out to you you see like a passing resemblance from your like from you to like many of the people in these portraits distant ravenlofts that you just never never met never knew but had been a part of their like the legacy here you look at one in particular it's of this striking young woman and it's like silver hair and a long braid she's standing top like a foot like someone she'd just beaten in battle looks like like a like an ember lance knight a little closer like that that looks like sir firestone and you look up at the person and it's you in the painting and you look across at a different one you see a picture of or a painting of a young Silvermoon Ranger. It's their head being like ripped off. And you see you ripping the head of Gadil off of his shoulders. You have these glowing red eyes, these long fangs, and looming behind you in this painting. You strode on Ravenlock, looking down at you with that same red glow. And you almost like look away instinctually because you remember back in Barrowvale in the tent. Yeah. He looked at you with those eyes and he charmed you. And as you walk down this hallway, you see more and more paintings of a legacy you and Strahd built together here. Power of two Ravenlofts, slaying all heroes, ruling Barrowvale with an iron fist. The very last thing that you see as you reach kind of the end of this hallway is this huge painting. Massive, like fills the wall. You see, it looks to be like the temple or the church of Mother Night back in Abbey Root. And crucified at like the top of this temple is Melita New Prayer. Her wings, like her raven wings are outstretched and staked through. She's been cut open. Her entrails are kind of just spilled out and blood is flowing down the church. And you yeah, stand man. there licking and like letting the blood fall over you. As Strahd just kind of looms like in the clouds, just this like demonic force looking down at you with his glowing red eyes. What do you want to do? Uh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Will you give me a charisma saving throw real quick? That's the nat 20 for a 28. Holy shit! Fuck my games, bitch! Uh, you uh, are like frozen for a moment, just looking up at this painting. In both like shock and terror and confusion. And then you feel this like chill run up your spine almost feel like as if there were like two fangs at your neck and you just turn and like oh, just swing wildly with your sword and you just cut like a suit of armor down that had been next to you and <laughs> you catch your breath and you look back at the painting and it's it seems to just be like a portrait of or like a painting of the, the church in Abbey Root you see two like young beautiful like blonde-haired sisters kind of holding hands, walking into the church. The air isn't quite as heavy anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and burn a Divine Sense, too. <laughs> okay. 
you just so I feel better. <laughs> send out a divine sense, and there is evil all around you, but there is not like an immediate like creature or anything here with you. There is just like one brief moment when you like send your pulse out that looking at the painting, the two like young girls that are walking towards the temple, one of them like flashes to this like hunched old hag in a rocking chair. And then it's like back to its normal self. Is there anything else you would like to do? Uh no, I'm gonna go back to the dining hall. I'm gonna go back to where it's safe. Yeah, yeah. Safe. Fuck that. No, like thank the you. Save rooms in Resident Evil Ooh. 4. Just go back to the save room. Yeah. 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 You can hear him outside. Save, 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 save. <laughs> and Casimir, <laughs> is there anything you would like to do? No. As you wait. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> go home. Yeah, I imagine just kind of this whole time I'm, I have like my spear that I'm just kind of just holding lazily and walking kind of like just around the table. Um, and I see um, Sir Firestorm do his thing with the suit of armor, and just that kind of prompts me. I just want to pump a divine sense out into this room just to see if he was noticing something that I didn't. Go to hell. <laughs> yeah, see if there's any like celestial faithing undead like in this room as I'm kind of just pacing the perim. Besides us and. The, the windows have this kind of like almost looks like blood stained glass that blocks a lot of the light coming like the moon grows a bit brighter and shines light into the room momentarily and it doesn't seem to be any okay. anything in here cool. oh actually well no okay. Ooh, yeah, it's not in the room ominous. and then I'll still keep pacing just kind of watching everybody watching the room, and I'll see, like, kind of, good deal, have a, a moment. This may have been while I was still in the room before I left. Oh, yeah. We'll have I, was, it be after. I didn't want we'll to. We'll be after, because the last thing was, like, you passed off the stuff. Dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll walk to the good deal, and then I'll talk to him in Draconic, just to be safe. Um, are you okay, good deal? I am. I am taking out a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I have uh, an idea, maybe, for you. And I'm looking, just looking around, like, smiling at people. As I'm talking <laughs> to you. If you would be uh, willing. Um, and then I kind of pull it out under the table. I pull out this oil of etherealness that I took from Mia. Um, we can put this on you and it will take you to another plane of existence where you can run through this castle for an hour and see whatever you want and you will not be affected by anything. Nothing else can see you. You can pass through walls. You can go wherever you want to go for an hour. How much time have passed right now? I would, I would, I mean, we have an minutes, hour. Maybe we have an hour. Okay. It takes an hour, like a ten minutes to apply. So I would do it halfway, maybe. I'm not too worried about the ten minute application. Okay. Go back like a shot. Yeah. You know why? Why not? <laughs> Okay, I need you. I don't. I don't know if there's. This might be the worst idea. <laughs> this is the yeah. best. This is the least risky in what anybody else has done. No, no. Uh, I was expecting uh, all of us. Character, I'll be like. I don't know. What, Strat's magic is capable of. I don't know if that's really, a safe option, but, it. With this, we can really get useful information against Strat. Might well, be worth it. From my understanding, you are not even on this plane of existence, so it's... Unless this magic extends to other planes, I... I mean, that is beyond my 
This is all draconic. This is beyond my uh, expertise. But from what I think I know, you cannot be affected by anybody or anything on the plane that we are on. There's an issue of your absence, though. Um, maybe we make a show. You don't feel good. You leave right now. You cannot take this image of uh, Imberfang being desecrated. I don't know. It's up to you. We can do this at another time, if not now, but I figured we're here. Uh, if we do it, if we don't do it right now, when? Also, just to make sure you know all your options, like if you wanted to apply this oil with your illness and like go like see what you could find in a shorter period of time and then come back and like yeah, it doesn't have effect. to be an hour like yeah, yeah i'm not gonna be like oh well and it you, says it lasts an entire hour and you have to do and that and you like, can fucking fly and just go through walls so it's not like you have to like oh i lock pick like you can just fucking blah and you reappear in the place where you applied it so that's why i want to kind of move you like you're not feeling well or you can't take this or you just object and you leave after we apply it and then you're what do you want to do Kadil? I'm going to be a sneaky boy yeah, nah. sneaky boy a deep breath <laughs> and look at Kazmir at the eye at the eye Sam. okay let's do this okay just uh, play along with me <clears throat> What, what what is wrong, Gadil? <laughs> you don't want to be here? We have to make this deal. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> You're doing such a good job, guys. I'm, I'm trying to do the heavy lifting. I'm, I'm trying to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> I want to inside check Kazmir so bad. Do it, I don't care. Uh, fucking, uh, you won't do it. Uh, guys, give me just give me ten minutes. I'll be right back. Come here, come on. And then I want. I don't know if we can leave. I just, we can just like go to, like, the door we came in through. And I just want. You're not really being watched, as far as you can tell. I and I do have the stuff that makes it so we can't scry on us. That I think it's the night thing. Um, yeah. Oh, do you have that? I no, thought Nick said no, I have she, it. No, you tossed it to me last ep. But it's she's oh, still you never, attuned to it. You never gave it. it back to me? No. <laughs> what? No. You tossed it to me because we had that confrontation in the tower and you just threw I it at me. I figured you would have... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because like, you said you were going to give it to me. You never give it back. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I said I was going to give it back to you when you were done with, because you were going to go talk to Strahd. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So I assumed you give it back? It. Yeah, I assumed okay, I had that's it fine. too. You have it. That's fine. Um, and no, it's so fine. Yeah, fine. No. So then we'll all kind of rush him out, and then I'll just I'll rub that little boy down. Uh. And then oh. ban him straight to yeah. jail. Yeah. No, pop. Jesus. He's not a fight to jail. He's a young boy. He's helping me tomorrow. What's that? <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll put the or you know what I'm gonna uh -huh. no you put it on your fucking self. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. And I'll there just kind of stand in front of him like no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, okay. When you are done, you will come back here. Uh, if you take the whole hour, you just appear back here, and then we can go see what you can see. And then oh. that does... So it's, he essentially goes into the ethereal plane. Um, he remains there for an hour, or he dismisses it, and he can move in any direction. He can move up or down. Every foot of movement yeah. costs an extra foot, so it's like half movement. We don't have to worry about like the exact mechanics of it. I'm not too stressed about that. Okay. Damn it, I want you to be... <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm sorry, who said they had a question? Good deal. Hi. Oh, yeah, what's up? Does this sense also works if I am in a different plane? No, I think it wouldn't. No, never mind. Uh, can only no, think you it. can only affect and be affected by other creatures on that same plane. No, 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 no. I mean, like, if I connect to Maru and try to make him, like, 
Uh, no, with his claw, like, I found this and make uh, a circle. Thank it's like it's it would probably... be contacting over two different planes. Well, it says unless a special ability or magic has given the ability to... Oh, that's inter interacting. Yes, you can't interact that. unless... I'm probably going to rule that you are going to be, like, on your own. Yeah, essentially, uh -huh. you can just see stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, deals. you begin to apply the oil of ethere etherealness. You... Like, to you, everything seems fine, but Kazmir, you, you're a little startled to see, like, his skin almost begins to, like, like blow away. You see, like, his exposed, like, it's almost like Two-Face, like, you can see in his jaw, through his cheek, his ribs begin to show as his skin just kind of vanishes until he's gone. And the deal is you, like, finish applying the last little bit, you look up, and you see Casimir. But you see him in like the way that like in Lord of the Rings when Frodo sees the ring wraiths and everything's like yeah, yeah, yeah. like all crazy. He's there looking, but his body is broken and mangled as if he had just fallen two hundred feet to his death. Oh shit. And you see like standing behind him four others. You see a dwarf ranger, you see a half orc artificer, he has like a big like clockwork arm. You see, uh, like a male, like a little kobold bard with like a monocle, and then you see a uh, uh, a young human, probably a little older than you, in like brilliant, shining like silver armor. They all have this like sorrowful look on their faces, and they're just like looking down at Casimir, just kind of floating behind him. They look around, and everything's just this kind of loose, misty form. What do you want to do? That's sad. Yeah. I... Order with me. That makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know but... a place I want to check and it's above me. You can fly, okay. baby. You look up and you feel your body just begin to kind of lift higher and higher towards the ceiling. You flinch momentarily as you like near it, and then you have this kind of weird like, whoa, like you almost got hit by a wave as you continue to climb higher and higher. Why don't you go ahead and give me a perception check as you I have a search blessing. through this castle as quickly as possible. Perceive into the universe. <laughs> Big money, no whammies. One, two, three. Infinity and beyond. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Almighty Father, what does he perceive? Yeah. I don't perceive is the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you start climbing higher and higher, and you're just like passing through walls, going up through ceilings as quickly as you can, just trying to find like your way up, you smell something in the air. You smell like blood. And then you look at your feet, and everything's gray. Everything's gray. Even, like, the torches and like light around you is just kind of this... It's like a lighter shade of gray that flickers on the wall. Almost everything is black and shadow. But you see this trail of bright red crimson blood. Just kind of scattered across the floor. I'm going to follow it. It winds higher and higher up. Follow this stealthily. How stealthy can be? You are like on the ethereal plane. Yeah, There's not much there's... thing stealthier than that. Okay. But you begin You're to... all fucking not 20s right now. <laughs> and you're stealthy. You climb. Following these stairs higher and higher up this, like, uh, the central spire of Castle Raven. And the higher you go, the more things start to change in a very unexpected way. Outside, you know, when you arrived, it was stormy, it was dark, thundering, rain was hitting the windows. And as you get about halfway up, you realize, like, the moon must be really bright, because there is a decent amount of light coming in through the windows. Do you want to peer outside, or do you keep going up? Can I take a quick look outside? Sure. You head to the window. 
and it is it's a beautiful sunny day the land around you is not dead it's lush it looks to be like springtime beautiful ivies curl up the spires of this castle you see a few white doves kind of fly through the air the black feather peaks look like they're snow-capped and the lands out beyond the castle are lush and vibrant you even see like far off on the distance what looks like maybe like a merchant caravan like making its way on the road and then you look back into the castle and it's all gray and the blood just continues up i'm kind of shocked but i continue upstairs you continue higher and higher up to this spire so you arrive at a set of double doors the doors have been shaped like the wings of a bat and carved a relief into like the center of the door where it would be opened is a picture of or is like a depiction of straw but he is looking down at his hands like you know it's obviously a little weird with it being a door but he's looking down at his hands with this look of horror and shock on his face and blood is pouring down from his hands as these wings kind of like furling in around him and almost like seem to be like crushing him down and you sense something so evil on the other side of these doors Do it. Do it. I do it. Try to slowly try to pass the door. You pass through the door. Find yourself in Strahd's personal chambers. It is a magnificent, beautiful nobleman's chamber. A huge bed stands on the far side of the wall with these crimson blood red drapes all around it. Portraits of Strahd lie in the wall. Some mirrors, suits of Ember uh, Emberland's armor. Sunlight pours in through the windows. Beautiful sunlight. And you can see the land outside is Barrowville as it once was. Lush and beautiful. And standing on the opposite side of the room, looking into a mirror, is Strahd von Ravenloft. He's kind of doing the last few adjustments to his suit, kind of fixing his cloak. He's looking into a mirror. There's no reflection. He's just kind of staring, just absentmindedly, just fidgeting with a bit of his suit. What do you want to do? <clears throat> Does he look exactly like I'm like I'm having this theory but <laughs> like I'm actually looking at the past but <laughs> Does he look exactly the same like the last time we soaked or does he yeah, look younger? Yeah. No, doesn't look younger. He looks exactly the same. Do I see any heart or any coughing? Why don't you go ahead and give me a perception check as you look around the room? Okay. Let's go, let's go. We can do this. Thank you, Mike. Continually oh, see into advantage. space and time. I believe in you. And do you have your inspiration too? Maybe? I have the inspiration. You know, I'm going to use it here. It's in yeah. the appropriate place. Yeah, I was going to say, session's almost over. Might as well use it. There it's you go. Better. That's better. A little better. <laughs> do you want to. <laughs> See Strahd staring at this mirror. And there's like, it's a very beautiful mirror, but there's nothing like extraordinary about it. He had a knee. Takes his hand and he presses it against the mirror. As soon as his hand comes in contact with it, you see his reflection suddenly appears in the mirror. Blood stained on his hands, just sobbing, just like this screaming reflection of a far younger Strahd. You see Strahd kind of recoil and steady himself. And then he gives the mirror a tap on the frame and it kind of shifts 
like he like pushed it back into like uh like an alcove mm -hmm. and you hear a locking mechanism and as soon as it closes you feel and hear from somewhere beyond it the beating of heart straw turns looks right at you and begins walking towards you and passes through you opens the door and begins to make his way down to the dining hall go 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 you can dismiss it whenever you want yeah go to the hall I, I am i am dismiss it right here right now it, 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 it is open it hasn't closed yet or he clo he like pressed it closed i mean but you can go through it because you're in the theater villain oh yeah I go through it. Can I? <laughs> Move to the mirror. Pass through it. Into a space that shouldn't exist. When you go to that mirror, it's like up against a wall that, like on the other side, would just be like the outside of the tower. Suddenly in this stairway. And you just immediately feel like there is, you are, must be deep underground. Like the weight that just feels like it's above you is very claustrophobic as you begin to drift down these steps. The beating grows louder and louder. The air begins to get hot. Almost like you're like walking into like a furnace. You descend down into a vast, expansive crypt. The floor, blood red marble. You realize it's not just like blood red marble. It is like beautiful white marble with a thin like layer of blood filling this entire chamber. Far side, silhouetted by two like big, like huge skeleton statues, each holding like a stake that they're stabbing into their own chests. And then there's a torch burning at the end of the stake. That's so cool. You see a huge heart beating, floating in the air with blood kind of trickling down its side into a small pool that then like water falls down these steps and out into the room around you. And in the, like in that pool beneath the harp, just visible above the surface is a coffin lid. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, just let me read one thing about that. No. I don't know if I can. No. No, Hunter's Magnet does not work here. There's no creature. No. no. And yeah, you're also on a different yeah. plane. You can't interact with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that this is the exact moment I... I I Dismiss go it. back cast me. Oh, I thought you meant you like reverted to your normal self. I was like, oh, all by yourself? Oh no, he oh, can no. He, when he dismisses it, he comes back. He, well, he can dismiss uh -huh. the spell and he comes back to exactly where I put it on him. Yeah. I go. <laughs> you okay? Hands. Are you okay? You feel better now? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. I, I put fairly a hand, a hand on the shoulder of Casimir, like, she's coming. Okay, let's, uh, Wait. let's, sit, down. let's sit down. <laughs> and I'll... You make your way back to the dining hall. Mia finds way back. Ludovic finds his way you back. You can quit having me now. I don't... I don't <laughs> we've, we've gone beyond the asked point of hugging. We're, we're holding hands. <laughs> you hold hands as you make your way back to the dining hall. Mm -hmm. As you all kind of gather up. <laughs> Sorry, Irina. Sorry, Irina. Open and stepping into the room, Strahd, one brave enough to himself, and smiles at you all. Sorry to keep you waiting. Please, take a seat. And he drifts across the stone floor towards his ta his chair, which like slides out. But as he like approaches, and he sits down to the table, snaps his fingers, and the doors around you open as like small plates and platters begin to float into the room 
and Gadil and Ludovic, you can smell what is being served for dinner. It is rat cabbage stew. The same that was served to you when you first arrived here. By Mia? And that's where nope. we will pick things up oh. next time. By by me. He was gonna no. do these little things to just fucking provoke us. Yeah. Good shit, Everett. <sighs> Great shit. I, I hope that was a I hope that was a fun one.